Live action, it's the Myrtle for Alpine Saints up against the Wangaratta Rovers. We're doing this first quarter for A-grade oils and batteries. We're about three or four minutes away from the bounce of the ball at the McNamara Reserve. It is the second home game of the year for the Myrtle for Alpine Saints. Blake Pander, Scott Rithy, Robin McKinlay, Dan Vaccaro. We'll cross down soon to Scott Montgomery, who's chucking a couple of batteries in his wireless microphone, uh, which I did warn him about multiple times, I think, uh, Robbie. He's looking forward to this one, Robbie. I am, I am. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how Myrtleford can progress even more from the game against Aubrey. Well, I thought they were pretty good. Uh, they, um, they just turned the ball over a bit going forward, really cost them dearly, particularly in the second and third quarters. Um, yeah, just see if there's improvement. And they had a week off, so they really haven't been able to get on a roll. At home here, we know they're a four or six goal better side. And Rovers have shown that every game's been a close win for them, so they are potentially a little bit vulnerable. Um, so that should bring it back a bit. And you, a great stat you came up with, an early 40-wink stat. The games between these two sides, the last six, I think it was, panned or whatever, been very tight indeed. Not much between them. Elimination final, quickly, Rovers by 22. Round 14, 2022, Saints by 11. Season opener last year, Saints by three. Round 7, 2021, the Rovers by 17. Uh, round 3, 2019, the Saints by five. And then the Saints by 18 the year before. Dan Vaccaro, who are we looking at in the 40-wink stat sheet today, yeah, my friend? Yeah, thanks, Panda. I I will be doing the 40-wink stat sheet today. So from Murderford, I'll be doing Simon Curtis, who's a gun. Brody Riccardi had 21 kicks last week and seven score involvement, so he's in really good form. Sam Martin, a favourite son. He is donning the number 46 today, so a little bit different for Sammy Martin. Mitch Del Bosco, a warrior. Yeah, so um, we'll be taking his numbers. And the new man in town, Sam Hilton, will also be taking his numbers as well. And then from Rovers, we'll be doing Brody Philo, the skipper Sam Murray, Jack Gerrish, uh, Dylan Stone, and the one and only... Pro on the prime train stats, boys. So really interested to see how he goes on the 40-wing stat sheet. He's a little bit out of form. Today might be the day. Uh, we're going to cross down to Scott Montgomery for... Uh, uh, what have we got down there on the boundary for Waters? How are you, Monty? What are conditions like out of the McNamara Reserve, my friend? Mm, they're perfect, Panda. Um, we're just having a few little issues... Unlike with, the mic. Unlike uh, unlike the microphone. A few little issues with Monty. So we'll, uh, we got you down there now. Yeah, you got me now, boys. Is that a bit better? Yeah, it's perfect weather down here, boys. The sun's out. Not many clouds about, but um, the players will definitely enjoy the sun being out. It's sort of keeping it warm, but without being too hot. And the ground looks a million dollars, mate. It's uh, good grass coverage. Not too much mud out there. So should be a great day. Any wind at all to speak of, Monty? No, nah, not really at all. If anything, it's probably favouring the... Uh, Buffalo End, or what it's called, Mount Buffalo End. Um, yeah, not a lot, maybe a goal in it. All righty, we will cross down to Scott Montgomery on the boundary for Waters a little bit soon. Boys, um, it's going to be a close game. I think it's always going to be a close game between the Rovers and the Saints. So who are we taking in this one, Dan Vaccaro? Uh, I'm going to go the Rovers. I think the story today is just going to be whether Rovers can hit their straps. They obviously don't train together all the time, so a little bit of consistency issues early in the season. But I actually think they're a really good side, and I reckon they'll win by a few goals today, Robbie. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go 20. Four points, around okay. about that four gold margin. Nice. And I think you expect to, so I think we're going to see Paddy Murray will go to Winter Irving. Yep. And if he plays forward, uh, Tristan Lamaz will play on Simon Curtis. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Scott, Scott Montgomery down on the boundary for Waters. Who are you picking, my friend? I'm uh, going to go off the Rovers, I reckon, today. But I reckon they just might have a little bit too much leg speed and move the footy a little bit too well for the Murphy. We'll get you to come maybe just a little bit closer, Monty. We're having a few little technical issues with our wireless microphone. Uh, bear with us with this one. Uh, Robbie, who are you picking, my friend? Yeah, I'd so say go with the Rovers. Round about that three or four gold margin. Um, yeah, as like you said, Rovers don't put sides away, but they'll be good enough to win, I think. Uh, that's a good fucking four line that they've got indeed. First quarter action for A-grade oils and batteries. Here is uh, Robbie McKinlay. Murray won the tap, and now McCartney ducked under one. Got a quick kick. It'll come to the club room side wing. Coming for a chance, that is Capillari. Handball had a little bit too much heat on it. Hurrigan did well, though. Recovered. Good poise. Handball back to Del Bosco. Through traffic, Del Bosco goes. Kicks to the far side of the ground. And out there on that chase at Riley Booker. Looking for the foot, hunted by Will McCarthy. Booker, McCarthy, boundary line wins, and it will be thrown in right on centre wing on the far side of the ground. Beautiful conditions. The ground is absolutely magnificent here at the McNamara Reserve, and we've got a boundary throw in to start proceedings. We've gone just under a minute. 
It'll be Murray and Forrest. Murray might have pushed in the back. He didn't. The Ibis got it out of the ruck. Kicked it long. Here's a chance for Prime Train. Ball come to ground. Dylan Wilson's got it. Could he get through the tackle? He couldn't. It was a good tackle there by Alex Jacobs. And he has thrown him, him and the ball over the boundary line. And it will come back into play. Forward pocket. 25 metres around from the Wangaratta Rovers goal. They are kicking to the right-hand side of your radio dial. And Forrest got a hand on it. Overrunning it was McCartney. A uh, big pack of players around the footy now. And uh, now it does come out. A chance here for Sammy Martin. Got a handball back. Was good to Austin Wicks. Wicks kicks it long to centre wing. Elijah Wales did well. Punched the ball away from Sam Murray. Now they'll track it. Running from half back. They're going to have to give up a bit of ground. They will. They'll come the far side of the ground now. Cody Shutt was there. Move. A bit of a fumble by McNamara. Handball was hot to shut. Now... Play on to call advantage. A oh. couple of whistles going everywhere there. Here's a chance down for Myrtleford. A little chip over the top by Kappa. Lowry was clever. Sits for Wales. Didn't get the bounce. Here's another go for Myrtleford. Whistle. Now there's a whistle. Advantage played. And it'll be a goal there to Sam Hilton Joyce. It will. They got rewarded for plenty of pressure. And Hilton Joyce knocked it in for about 30 metres out. It dribbled through for a goal. And an early contender of steel on goal today. Monty, they worked hard for that, the Saints? They did. They defended really well. They pushed up really hard from their wings and half-backs there. And um, they're taking the advantage there by Cody Shutt. Probably not the right decision. Put them under the pressure going back through the middle and turned it over. And a good finish there by um, Hilton Joyce around the corner. Really positive start by uh, Rovers initially. That, the first sort of minute and a half, they really had their ball in their 50. But uh, Murderford really rebounded well and, and looked good going forward. And Hilton Joyce hitting the scoreboard early. So we've played around two minutes on the Macca's time clock. First quarter action for A-grade, Oils and Batteries here on A&M Live. The Saints and the Rovers. Toss back up. McCarroll with the ruck contest. I thought he held on to Stone just a little too long. We had a whistle and a free kick here to McCartney. He's gone to the hairdressers, it's fair to say, during the week, boys. Oh, I hope he didn't pay for it. <laughs> what do you mean, Mont? Oh, it's not the best. I reckon it's brilliant. The blonde locks down there. He started the season pretty well in Rovers colours, has Lockie McCartney. Drives it to the broadcast wing. It's a good kick. McNamara just got put off there by Capillari. Philo oh. puts it on the boot, sneaking out the back here and finding space was Wilson. Too far out to score. Beautiful kick into the FUD. Mark Lou had to be a free kick against Wicks for a chop of the arms. And it is, and it's going to be a free kick to Mark Lou. Tied up against the boundary, but Monty, he likes these situations. Yeah, absolutely. And how good was the foot skills there? First from Brody Philo in traffic to find Dylan Wilson. And Dylan Wilson just sat over the top of, of two players to hit Mark Lou. Would have taken that mark if he wasn't impeded. So L Mark Lou, if you're watching on the on him Optus TV live stream tied up against the boundary you'll have a good view of this broadcast site kicking to the Mount Buffalo end southern end he's going to go the traditional drop punt it's coming back not enough through for a minor score the Rovers one behind the Saints one straight six so we've almost played four minutes of the Macca's time clock that's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard the Buffalo River end, eh? Yep. Buff Lake Buffalo Lake Buffalo end, Robbie Panda, if you missed us earlier went out there took his lovely partner Miranda out there I got to get the knee dirty, didn't he? Mm. Not much happened, though. <laughs> Everyone went home a bit sad. Capillari's got it at the back pocket. He's a nice left footer. He's been rewarded by being included in the Ovens of Murray squad. Murray went high. The two Murrays went high. Ivis went up and Sammy. Ball came to ground. Chamberlain. Handball over the top was OK. Inside ball from McNamara. Got it to Sammy Murray. Penetrating kick. Here's Mark Luke. Oh, he didn't take it. Now Gerrish, he's speedy, he's quick, he zigged, he zagged, he got it back to Wilson. Wilson's little chip kick is intercepted. Wicks couldn't take the mark. Handballed off now to the youngster in McPherson and he decided he'd go long. That's a good clearing kick. It might go out of bounds, it stays in. Cody Shutt did well. In kick back to Paddy Murray. Paddy Murray, centre wing. Started the season in sensational form. Kick's not great from Paddy on this occasion. And it's been chopped out there by Riley Booker, who marks it half back for the Saints. And he goes backwards to the hooligan, Hurrigan. Hurrigan runs across the goal. He's got to kick it out of bounds. I think no, Capillari did well. Lucky he's quick. So it really tested him. He goes short. We'll get to Dan Vaccaro shortly for 40 winks. Riccardi's handball to Capillari. Capillari goes short. Hilton Joyce missed it, picked up by Chamberlain, inside handball, McNamara got it, handballed it back now, geez a bit of pressure there, it was Finn Osborne working hard, coming through was Chris, Capillari again, he's had a million kicks already, kicks towards Murray, 
Brought it to ground there was Sharp. Punch from behind Sam Murray. Picked up here by Will McCarthy. Goes, not Will McCarthy, the brother. Alex. And his kick was okay. He's found Dillstone. He zigged, he zagged. He went to the Ibis in the middle of the ground. The Ibis decides to go long. Have a look at the kick. It's a beauty. Gee, that was a good kick from the young fella. And it's been marked by Alex Marclou. About the same distance out as his previous kick, but he's 15 metres closer inside the boundary. Mont, you've got a real good look at this one. Yeah, right behind it here, but how good is that kick from Toby Murray as a oh. forward? Didn't have to break stride. Out in front of the eyes, it was absolutely perfect. And just a quick one, uh, Elijah Wales doing a bit of a defensive forward role on Sam Murray, and yep. probably hasn't started that well with Sammy probably getting involved in the game a bit more than he is. Here comes Mark Lue, kick on the way. This time he brings it back, but enough! He's going to call it. The umpire's in to saw. Oh, hello. Wow. We're going to have a chat here. No one's real sure. No, I reckon it was a point from my yeah, look, view. Yes. And I'm right like behind point. it. The umpire says, yes, one point. So good call in the end, Mont. The right decision, I think, was made there. Right, now, uh, Dan, for 40 winks, mate, you've got a bit of data. Well, give me something. <laughs> Rovers have started really positively in the first seven minutes, boys. Four inside 50s, three centre clearances, and Sam Murray's got his hands in the footy three times already. So that effective sort of defensive role from Elijah Wales not working at the moment on the 40 winks stat sheet. And Winter Irving went a long way up the ground to get the footy, and he found Simon Curtis, who kicks backwards to Hurrigan under pressure from the prime train. At halfback, if you just joined us, Myrtle for an early goal to Hilton Joyce. Six, lead Wang Rovers, two. Now the runner off halfback. The kick's got to be good in the middle of the ground. Riccardi, geez, Jacobs made him work for it. Riccardi got it out, though, to young Ferguson, to Del Bosco. Del Bosco back to Riccardi. A low finger burner. McPherson. God, look at him. He's got through a fair bit of traffic. Might have got chopped as he kicked it. Oh, it's a good mark. Terrific mark. Last line of defence, Tommy Boyd. And he kicks it into the middle of the ground. Curtis can intercept. He got a hand on it. Dylan Wilson picked it up. A w nicely weighted handball. He's picked it up here now to McLaughlin Mc running with the footy. It was Joey Allen. He goes short to the prime train. The prime train has spotted Mark Lou. He will have his third shot on gold. He runs around, screws it over his shoulder. Alex Mark Lou on his third attempt has put it through for gold. Still on goal of the day contender. And the Rovers hit the front. 1-2-8. Mark Lou scored them all. Myrtleford one straight six. Boundary side, Monty. Yeah, when they transition the ball like that, the Rovers, they just look so dangerous. Got it through the middle. And then their forwards have all the space in the world to lead into, like Alex Mark Lou then did then. And obviously wasn't trusting his set shot after his first two efforts, so just snapped it around and perfect finish. Yeah, really looking concerning here for Saints boys. They've had six inside fifties already, Rovers. Sam Murray off the half back line's been fantastic. And he's just threatening to open this game up. Alex Mark Lou, three shots on goal and one goal already. So back in the middle. McCarroll with the hit out straight down to the Ibis Murray who quickly gets it on the boot it's going to land in the lap of Mark Lou but he, in fact it was Wilson drop what he should have taken here's Gerrish with speed breaking lines running to 40 Jack Gerrish it's across the face through for a minor score he loves a running goal as our man Jack the Rovers 1-3-9 Myrtleford 1 straight 6 9 minutes play to the Macca's time clock first quarter action for A grade oils and batteries Dan Vaccaro, what do you got for us on the 40-wing stat sheet? Seven inside 50s to Murderford's two at the moment. Boys on the 40-wing stat sheet. So complete domination, but no scoreboard pressure as of yet from Wangaratta Rovers. Here it comes, sharp in the box seat. Couldn't take it. Oh, nice little grab there by the Murderford player, Levi Young. Got the handball to Ferguson. Ferguson's kick was intercepted by Gerrish. They got numbers out the back. Tom Boyd, quick handball to Smith. He's in trouble. Elijah Wales got him. Oh, he called him for a sling. Mont, you were there for Waters. What did you think? Yeah, I didn't think it was that much in it. There was that little bit of an action, but he did everything he could to protect the head. So I think if he's done the right thing with uh, protecting the head, he probably should have got rewarded for holding the ball. So the Rovers are going to oh. try and switch the footy aggressively. True centre half back is Paddy Murray now. He goes out wide, far side to Lanaz. And his kick lands in the laps here of a Rover who goes to half forward. Dylan Wilson. Too far out to score. He's got McCartney in board. Ignores him. Goes long looking for 
Wilson out the back. In fact, it was Osborne punched over the line. And we'll have a boundary throw in inside Ford 50 for the Wangaratta Rovers. They lead by three points. Ten minutes play to the Maccas time clock. Quickly, Scott Montgomery on the boundary for Waters. Yeah, just the Wangaratta Rovers this week. Looks like they're trying to defend a lot more of the ground up the ground. They're trying to really push up. Not one player except for the full forward from Myrtleford inside their half. So trying to get really up the ground and close the ground down. Geez, McPherson's been good. Another clearing kick from back line. Sharp. Over and look at the Ibis. He could turn on a thrippity bit. And his kick wasn't that great though, the Ibis. And Bedendo has it. Centre wing for Alpine Saints. Say the trail six to nine. Kick's gotta be good. It's not. Chopped out by Gerrish. Martin had to work hard. Gerrish went back out again. Dylan Wilson's in there. Got his hands on the footy. Somehow got it out. Oh Gerrish turn, grab, spin, handball release. It's just slowed things up here for Allen. Allen straightens up. Joey Allen, shot on goal, has missed to the right-hand side. Minor score, one 4 10 Wangaratta, Myrtle for one straight six. And we're doing this quarter for A-grade oils and batteries. I saw him the other day, uh, Panda, got a quote on a battery and I got two. Well, there you go. How good's that? Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Oh, Jack Gerrish, boys, in the 40 winks stat sheet. He's already had three touches and that's really dangerous. The forward run he's giving Wangaratta Rovers inside their 50 is super dangerous on the 40 winks stat sheet. Our boundary man for what is Scott Montgomery could throw this football in, which is something I would love to see, actually. You, you saw my form when we went down to the umpires for that night. Yes. Panda, it's not bad. You're not, rubbish. Not oh. bad at all. Best on, I think. So the Rovers inaccurate at the moment. Moment one four ten, lead the Saints one straight six. Got to get rid of it, Maraca. I reckon it actually was kicked into Joel Smith's back as he was <laughs> he running was. the other way, Big Mac. He, he didn't know the footy had he, cleaned him up. Did Angus go down to that umpiring session? He did he not. No, it wouldn't no, hurt him because no. he's very critical of him at times. No, he no. is at times, yeah, but that's okay. We all are at times, but they do a wonderful job. Ball up on centre wing. McCarroll was able to nudge Murray underneath it, kick it to half forward. Bren came out and met it. He's almost going to get pinged here. He is oh, holding the geez. ball. Not sure about that, but it, uh, know, what's he probably could have got it out there, yeah. I reckon, boys. He had a couple of arms free. All right, so it's a free kick here to Cam Chamberlain and the Rovers at right half back. They lead by 10 points, and here is uh, Big Mac for the old town and country tavern. He looks stronger this year, Declan Bren, doesn't he? Sam Murray with a bit of run and dash. The kick now, and he's turned it over. It's gone straight down the throat. Oh, a quick handball release to Riccardi. This kick's good. Oh, it oh. bounced off the chest of Irving. Handball in a hurry. Now, the, they might get another chance here. Riccardi again for Merleford. Got it onto the friend gun. Handball back to Curtis. The, we went one way. Levi Young back the other. Kick was smothered. Fantastic. Falls away of Hilton Joyce. Snap on goal. Marked the top of the goal. Well, not in the gold square. Between the behind post and the goal post by Sharp. He'll run around, he'll kick a goal. He does exactly that. The Saints are economical in front of goal. Two straight, 12. Lee Wanger at a 1 4 10. Dan. What have you got for 40 winks, mate? Really, really positive last few minutes here by Murderford Saints, guys. It's on the back of the dominant display by Brody Riccardi. He's had five touches already. Looks to be that main force of Murderford driving, but they're definitely winning the territory battle. They've had five inside 50s to Rovers, nine, so they're coming back in that area as well. Curtis Martin and Del Bosco and Hilton Joyce as well have all gotten their hands on the footy, uh, on the 40 winks stat sheet. Good movement, Mont, by the Murderford Alpine Saints then. Absolutely. Took that defensive intercept mark on the far wing. We're able to get the ball at the other side just with the ball movement. They're going to take it on, I think, and go through the middle as much as they can. So, the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, two straight 12. The Rovers, one four ten. 10 That's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. As the Rovers go in the middle of the ground, they find McCartney. He is right next to the centre circle. Beautiful kick out wide. It hangs a long time in the air, but Joe Allen's able to clunk it. Oh. Hand passes over the top to Philo. He can run onto his right or left. Take your pick. He goes the snap. Wrong option in the end, and it falls to Horrigan in the goal square for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. They blew a chance there, the Wangaratta Rovers. He just wasn't sure whether to go to a, for a shot on goal. Monty probably should have just backed himself in. I think the defensive pressure around him probably put him under the pump and wasn't quite sure there. Made him make a decision he didn't want to make. So Horrigan exits defence. Martin sweeping hand pass. Going to find Wales at half back. Keeps it in. Left foot kicks a beauty. Finds Declan Bren. Just ran over the top of it the last minute. Out the back. Oh. Bren just shoves Tristan Lanaz. Mirrors off the ball, but Mirrors is able to get... Well, he's even got a big hip and shoulder from Kyle Winter Irving, who has punished him over the boundary line. That's something we love to see, Big Mac. He was like a cork in the ocean. <laughs> he was the poor Poor old Mirrors. But he, hey, he's tough. He's solid. Don't worry about that, Mirrors. That wouldn't, wouldn't affect him. Forrest got the tap. McCartney got a handball to McCarthy. Had to kick it in a hurry. 
And it's gone over the boundary line. Smack bang centre wing, club room side of the ground here at the McNamara Reserve. Myrtleford leave 12-10. 15 and a half minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. And this quarter, we're doing it for A-grade oils and batteries. And I was getting back to it. I got a quote on one battery. Was that good? I, I could afford two. <laughs> I got two. How good is that? Two double A's. No, no, they were two genuine ones for the Ute, for the Beaver Mill. Forrest swinging a miss at it. And now it's going to be balled up on centre wing. Still there's Mirrors here. He's been in the action a bit, Mirrors. Yes. Looks like he's been in the gym a bit too. He's got a nice little tone about him through the shoulders and the arms here. Not sure what he's doing around the ball. He should be well back in defence. He's following Simon Curtis up around the ground, actually, there, Panda. So that's like why he's it. so far up the ground. I like it. Good matchup. Good Free luck. kick here to Alex McCarthy who has kicked a goal late in every single game this year. Yes. Alex McCarthy is the ice man at the moment. That was a bullet kick from Dylan Stone. Bounce off the chest of Stewie Booth, and the Rovers blow a chance, but it's going to come straight back because the intercept kick from Myrtleford has been marked by Cody Shutt on centre wing. Short kick finds probably the best player in the comp at the moment, Dill Stone. Yeah, good form, isn't he? Really good form, and it's a good open kick to the other side of the ground. Williamson just dropped what he should have taken. Now he's in strife. It was a good tackle from Capillari, who's able to rebound. Beautiful left foot kick finds Winter Irving. Yep. And he's going to line up 45 metres out directly in front. He passes it off to the guy who gave it to him. Capillari, great gut running, Monty. Absolutely. His defensive pressure there was what turned that footy over, so he rightfully gets a shot on goal. But just the way they're trying to move the ball at the moment, Wayne Rovers, probably trying to have too many possessions without gaining any ground, trying to get out of that far side, which is really putting run on the pump and a couple of skill executions is what's really hurting him and giving uh, Myrtle for double chances going inside 50. So he's a bush ranger, this kid, who he was last year with North Melbourne VFL. He is In a star. Squad. Yep, a star, Tommy Capillari. Good boy. And he's going to line up, kick from 40 on a slight angle. That's gun barrel straight. And it's the steel line goal that a contender from Tommy Capillari. And the Saints get their third. Three straight 18. The Rovers 1-4-10. 17 gone on the Macca's time clock. That's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. If I'm if I'm Funky Miller at quarter time, boys, I'm absolutely wrapped with this display. They've only gone inside 56 times this quarter to Rovers 10. They just look a lot more better going forward. Their kicks look a lot more dangerous. It's getting in the hands of their dangerous players like Brody Riccardi, like Sam Hilton and Joyce have been really good. If I'm Rovers, I'm figuring out, I'm winning the clearance battle, but I can't do anything else with it going forward. Well, if you want a Mawson's Concrete Player of the Day contender, guys, don't look too much past yep. that effort. Capillari involved three times there. Absolutely fantastic. And you do any stats, are you, Dan? Capillari, I'm not, unfortunately. You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, but Del Bosco <laughs> kicks it into half forward, and it's marked by Sam Murray, who just heaves it down the line. Kick looks okay, too, and he finds Jack. He doesn't muck around. Jack's off to the races. He look away handball to the Ibis. The Ibis was looking, which was fantastic. Stone's kick on the inside was all right. They might get out of this. Sweeping handball over Williamson's head. Now they're in trouble. Myrtleford got numbers over the footy. Snap on goal. McCartney, not bad at the goal square. Misses to the right-hand side. So last week they kicked seven straight to half time. Today they've kicked one goal five. It can be costly, Blake. It can. McCartney, though, just quietly, Monty, started very, very strongly in the boundary for Waters. He has, absolutely. He gets his hands on his footy at the coal face, and Toby Murray is the premier ruckman in the competition at the moment. Whoa. He's getting it down his, uh, down his throat. Just the opposite will like that, won't he? He will. Hey. Pete Murray just slipped me a 50 for that <laughs> one, so all good, boys. And you're not too far away from Pete as the Myrtleford Alpine Saints exit defence, far side, Booker. Dangerous little kick in board. It might work here for Del Bosco. I'm not sure it actually marked that. The umpire paid it a mark. Del Bosco swings it wide. Finds young Ashton McPherson. He started well, hasn't he? Yeah, started well from the third system. And he's going to go down the line and kick to centre wing. Far side. Winter Irving comes late, makes a contest. And goes back in with a great second effort. Kicks the Saints with a grubby kick inside 50. Sharp there up against McNamara for the Rovers, wins out, sweeps it wide to his coach, Sam Murray, always wants to aggressively come in board, he does it by hand to Lanaz, left foot kick hugs the boundary line, out muscling his opponent was Tom Bolt, the prime train, and he's got it on centre wing for the Rovers Prime kicks it long, it's a good kick too, Gerrish on the fly hardly had to adjust his running pattern, should have got a free kick, wow. he's, as, he's as stiff as you'd like to be, I'll tell you what as Panda at Lake Buffalo. <laughs> he has got young McPherson again, picked up the footy at halfback, runs with it. Now here's the prime train. Look at him go. Good handball to Gerrish. Gerrish in one way, out the other. Handball to hurry back to Dylan Stone. He's under a bit of pressure here. Now it goes back to the centre of the, the centre-half forward area, but it's chopped out. 
and it's marked by Jacobs, and he kicks it across the goal, but it's okay, Panda. And he's picked up Maraca and got it on to Curtis. Curtis, beautiful kick to half forward. This is good footy here by the Saints. He gets it back He'll from Winter Earth. He'll kick this. Curtis runs to 65. Big Max caught it. It's not going to get there. Well, he kicked it. He did <laughs> kick it. Yeah. Robbie, you get them even when they're not having set shots. <laughs> Cody Shutt intercepting on the last line of defence. The Saints, three straight 18. The Rovers, 1-5-11. Late stages, 20-minute mark of this first quarter. We're doing it all thanks to A-grade oils and batteries. Dan Vaccaro? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Panda. Look, the Rovers have had their inside 50s, but just not getting the reward for effort. They've had 11 to Murderford's 8, so really need a lift in that area. Philo has it at halfback. Three Chips touches it. for Philo. McCartney, Paul McCartney takes the mark. You're going to chip it over the top. That's all right, Stewie Booth. He won the twos medal last year, he did. didn't he, yep. Stewie? Yep. Yeah, he should play more first grade, I reckon, Stewie. Well, why don't you tell Sam? Well, well, I'm telling them now. They all listen back. Play him a bit more. I told Darren that. He gave me nothing. Mm, not a great Cross kick. goal, Cody shut. Couldn't mark it. Now he gets it back. Paddy Murray's there with him. Paddy helps shut out and shut kicks, but it's poor. And it's chopped out by our boy McPherson. So McPherson all shows a little bit of candy oh, oh. and dash and takes a bounce. Runs through the middle of the ground looking for Sharp. Good fist behind there by the Rovers. It was Paddy Murray. Sharp goes in again, dropped it. Tom Boyd helping out in defence. Sweeps a hand pass back to Sam Murray who's just going to let it run through for a rush behind. What we have seen so far, Monty, is good forward pressure for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. Absolutely, and through the middle of the ground as well. They're really stopping the footy in the flow that Wangaratta Rovers want and the transition as well. So just turning the ball over in dangerous positions, just giving them looks at the goal. So the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, first blemish for them, 3-1-19. The Rovers 1-3-5, sorry, 11. It's an eight-point lead to the Saints on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. Sam Murray, kicking was a good one, and Will McCarthy ends up with it. Mark Lou couldn't quite hang it on her initially. Now Mark Lou's back for another go. And he's got his mate Gerrish there. Here's Gerrish and Mark Lou. Gerrish, look at this. He's a quick operator. He gathered the ball, handballed it to Mark Lou. He's only looking at one thing. That's the gold square. It's penetrating. Prime, let it go. Well done, Prime. Unselfish teamwork stuff there from the Prime train. Great work from Alex Mark Lou because if you look at his second effort, he's got two. Mark Lou started that from half back and he just kept running and running. That's power running. For Waters, down on the boundary, Monty. Yeah, and that just shows when Rovers get their game on and can move it, they, they are very dangerous. End-to-end -end without Murder for look like getting a touch on it. So very dangerous there. And Alex Markley, hasn't he started this game? Well, that's his fourth shot on goal for 2-2. Two -two. He's threatening to blow up this game, boys. Alex Markley has been fantastic. But you mentioned prime train. He's actually been quite good when the ball's gone forward. He's had three touches. He shepherds that one through as well. But Dylan Stone's been great. And Jack Gerrish has had five really good touches on the 40-wing stat sheet. That's boys in the interleague squad is our man Jack. 19 plays, 17. A Two-point lead here to the Saints. There's a free kick in the middle of the ground. It's going to go the way of the Rovers. And that man on cue, Jack Gerrish, who pops an interesting hand pass over to Philo, who flicks it back to Gerrish. Move it to half forward. McCarthy inboard. Not a great kick. Not a great kick looking for Mark Lew. And Austin Wicks takes an intercept mark. Goes short. And this is Nick Ferguson now. The Saints still deep in defence. They do lead by two points. They come out towards the broadcast side. Good fist there by Chamberlain up against Bren. Del Bosco goes in, wins it. Hand pass it to a teammate, but Dendo under pressure. This is good heat. Good heat in it from both sides. Del Bosco shrugs off one. Hand pass, not great turnover. McNamara flicks it back to the Rovers. McCarthy just puts it on the boot, but it's all Saints, Robbie. It's in the hands of Hooligan. It is indeed. He's done well, Hurrigan. Showed good composure and a nice kick too to Sammy Martin, who has it half back. Between half back and centre wing, 19 to 17, Myrtleford lead. Kick to centre wing. It's marked by the Bren gun. And he likes to normally run from here. He's looked pretty dangerous so far, Bren. He's been presenting quite well on strong hands each time he's gone near the footy. He's picked out his man, but mirrors Lanaz is there and he takes a very strong mark. Plays on quickly, kicks it to Sammy Murray, who's been held up there by Hilton Joyce. He's done well there, Hilton Joyce, because Murray wanted to go. He hand passes it to a man who will run and carry it. It's Dylan Stone. Oh, great chase there by McCarroll, the big fella. How good was that? The big ruckman. Put Stone under a bit of pressure, who's got to dazzle and go out really wide to the far side. Bathed in sunshine. The Rovers go inside forward 50. Prime train on a search Look lead in front of Alex Jacobs. Hand pass it back to Williamson. They go into the pocket looking for Mark Lou, and they find him. 20 metres out, tied up against the boundary. 
Yeah, just ball movement again there. Just been able to transition and quick hands when they're under the pump and they've been able to move it inside 15. And that man again, Mark Lou, and I'll tell you what, he prefers these ones than the ones 20 metres out straight in front, I reckon. He'll run around. He'll snap it for his third goal. Mark Lou. He's got... Ooh. Across the face. He's missed it. Through for a minor score. He liked it off the boot. So the Rovers, 2-6-18. Yes, 2-6. The Saints 3-1-19, they lead by one point. This is the first quarter for A-grade oars and batteries, and that's on the Paulie's Corner Cafe scoreboard. Big Mac with not long left on the Macca's time clock. Yeah, 25 and a half minutes gone. He's kicked two goals free, Alex Marklu. Mirror's got a quarter. good sport, a, a terrific one. Forrest was there. Over Lanaz. Jesus, a bit of grunting and whatnot going. Oh, he, Mirrors has just turned his head. In there by Sharpie, and there's nothing too serious in that. They both have a bit of a laugh at it, and away they go. That's it, quarter time here. It is 19 Myrtleford, 18 Wangaratta Rovers. Been a good game of footy, Panda, for A grade oils and batteries. Really enjoyed it. It has indeed. We're going to take a break. Second quarter action, not too far away. The Saints by a point, 19 plays 18. And remember, on OM Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today.
2AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. So far, a pretty good game of footy here at a beautiful-looking McNamara Reserve round for SSNA Ovens and Murray action. It's the Saints and the Rovers, and it's the Saints leading by the narrowest of margins. 19 plays 18. Dan Vaccaro, as we have a little mic swap here, because these two fellas picked up the each other's microphones, which I is not something, something you see all the time. Felt different there. Who but, were the um, Optus quarters best, please, Dan Vaccaro? Yeah, thanks, Panda. I really thought Jack Gerrish for the Rovers was fantastic that quarter, alongside um, Alex Marklu. I think kicked two goals, three. So he just looks like he's about to blow this game open. So he was really, really fantastic. And then on the Murderford side of things, that a little bit more of an even spread. But I thought uh, Mitchie Del Bosco, he had the six touches. Uh, young Tom Capillari, I thought was fantastic. Uh, Brody Riccardi as well was giving them a bit of drive yep. forward to centre. So uh, really good start by Rovers. They'd be disappointed. They're probably not a couple of goals up. I think a dominant display, and they were just starting to hit their straps at the end of that quarter. Some of the stat leaders in that opening quarter, please, Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Yeah, so Sam Murray had a lot of the ball. Probably hasn't used it as well as he, he would have liked. He had the nine touches. Jack Gerrish had eight. Dylan Stone, seven. And the prime train um, has had four as well. They've had 14 inside 50s, Rovers to Murderford's nine. So they have dominated. Uh, Sam Hilton Joyce, he's only touched it three times, but I felt like he's been effective. Mitch Dubosco, six touches. Sammy Martin's only touched it three times. Brady Riccardi, five disposals. And Simon Curtis has had the four as well. So, a couple of Murderford boys to, to hit their straps in the second quarter, I think. Really like the look at Capillari, Big Mac, which yeah. is why he's obviously, you can tell why he was in the Bush Rangers system. And now I think he's on the VFL list at North Melbourne. Won't surprise me if he gets a call up there soon. Yeah, and obviously he got put in the inner league squad, which is a good reward too. And I think if you look back, the goal he did kick in that quarter which was uh, the 17 minute mark if you look to the lead up uh, I think he was involved at least three times so Tommy Capillari Mont, Mont's got us now for Waters oh, he, he certainly was an impressive young performer yeah, he was fantastic, wasn't he, boys? He was really good, looked really sharp. His defensive pressure was fantastic as well and just put a bit of heat on the game that, that probably Wang Rovers weren't expecting. Uh, when I listened to the huddles, Funky Miller was so happy with his defensive pressure, especially in the forward half of the ground and the way they were able to stand up. He said he'd like to be a little bit more physical um, with them as they're running past. Don't give them free run and also let's just try and take the heat out of the game when we win possession. Let's play our style and not try and keep up with how they want to play. When I listened to Sam Murray who said, boys, just got to get rid of our skill execution mistakes at the moment because at the moment they just turn the footy over in poor areas through the middle of the ground which gives them a high way to go so just need to clean that up and he thinks that they're playing all right footy preaching lots of positivity isn't craig miller yeah. and the myrtle for alpine saints they know they've got a young list they know that they have an inexperienced list so it's all about positive reinforcement for mine and that's a wonderful journey yeah absolutely and, and why not and it, that showed through the previous game against aubrey Right through, if they finish the game, the better that day. That so just shows what that can do. So, yeah, they, they've been great. If they they just got to take them most of their opportunities that come their way. Guys like probably Simon Curtis and even Hilton Joyce just to be a little bit quieter. If they can get into the game, no, she's this is this is this is an interesting stage. This is a massive quarter. This one for Myrtleford. This second quarter. This is the one against Aubrey where it got undone a little bit. Round the grounds, boys. North Aubrey, 3 2 20. The Wangaratta Magpies, 3 2 20 at quarter time. So, good start. A wow. good start Great there start. for North Aubrey. Uh, and then around the grounds, Yarrawonga and the Wodonga Raiders. Yarrawonga, 21 to 1. So, a goalless quarter there for the Raiders. So, Go interesting the over there at the Norm Mills Oval. And here, it's a one point lead to the Myrtle for Alpine Saints. And here is Robin McKinlay for Wangaratta Motor Group in this second quarter. Oh, gee, uh, Forrest went high, got the tap. Now it comes in, chance here for Hilton Joyce. Quick kick into half forward, marked by Elijah Wales. 55 out from the Myrtle for gold. Gets a lead from Curtis, ignores it. Bren leads, darts around. Winter Irving. So in the end, he'll just go long Elijah Wales. He's got a bit Not on bad. it. He's got good length on it. Declan, Bren might shepherd it through for a goal. No, touched. touched. Touch. Oh, Definitely on the touched. line. It might have been, uh, was it Patrick Murray who got his final hand on that one? It might have been Chamberlain, actually, who Chamberlain was one-on-one uh, -on -one with um, Bren in the goal square. Just got the hand on it. So minor score to start proceedings for Myrtleford. 3-2-20. They leave Wangaratta Rovers. 2-6-18. Sam Murray. Another kick in. Looking for his brother who came late. Fisted it down. Jacob's there for the Saints. Comes out wide. They go to half forward. Good luck marking that. And then Sam Murray probably should have got a free kick. He does. They play on with an advantage. Brody Philo searching kick. Good strong hands there by Mark Lou. Wicks came late. Forced to contest. 
ball on centre wing. Lots of players around this pill. Mark Lou tackled by Wicks. Good pressure from the young fella. Craig Miller was happy with it at quarter time. Crowd want a high free kick on Brody Riccardi. Not going to get it. And we have a stalemate on centre wing. Broadcast site, good footy all around. We've gone a minute and a half in this second quarter for Wangaratta Motor Group. Ivis took it out of the ruck, got a real low worm burner, wasn't it? Oh, look at the scoop up by Dylan Wilson. He couldn't take the footy with him down. He got a jarred out, and it will be a ball up. And that's one thing I noticed about the Ibis. Uh, he likes to take the ball out of the ruck and kick it himself. I don't mind that. Extra catching. stat, I like it too. Yeah, that, that'd be crossing Ibis's mind too. Good tackle again. So Sammy Martin did not let McCartney go anywhere. I'm going to have one more crack at a clearance here, Panda. Then otherwise it's going to be back to you. Look at the Ibis, a nice little tap down to McCartney. Looks like it's going to be you, Panda, <laughs> because that's going nowhere. All right. Are you be keeping stats on ball up, Stan Vaccaro? Because we had a few this second this quarter. This four in a row, uh, Panda. No, Panda. I can't do it all, mate. Get a clearance, Panda. Freaky Wood. You do pretty well, my <laughs> friend, on the 40 wing stat sheet. Yeah, Brad takes him. He does. Mm. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints do get a little clearance. It was half smothered. <laughs> the ball right being smack in the middle of the McNamara Reserve now. And there's a free kick here. I think he was looking to clear it on the... Yeah, it paid a bit high there. The tackle just slipped up a little bit. It's Alex McCarthy. He's going to pump the Rovers long. They go looking for a one-on-one. -on -one. Why not Mark Lou? A couple of Saints come really late and fists it over the boundary line. It's a good battle, that one. Yeah. Wicks and Mark Lou. Yep. And it'll get tossed back into play. 40 metres out from the Rovers' goal. No goals in this second quarter. The Saints lead 20 to 18. we played two and a bit minutes on the Macca's time clock. He's a, he, he can play all heights, Wicks. He can't. He, he can play on that five-foot tenner or up to that sort of six-foot three. Here's the Ibis. He got pushed, I reckon. No, play on to call. McCarthy's been prominent. Couldn't get his hands on the ball this time. Coming at Dylan Wilson does. Handball over the top. Might fall the way of Mark Lou. Snap over his left shoulder. Oh, good fist on it there. Kept the ball in by Jacobs. Chasing after it now is the prime train. He went one way, went the other. He's got a free kick. He has. He's got a high shot. So the prime train will have a shot on goal. He's only about 30 metres out, but it's a tight angle, Monty. Yeah, it is, and I reckon watching some of his videos, he'll probably play on and try and snap this one around the body, but he got there first, got down low, and, and got the free kick uh, that he was deserved. I have never seen him miss this shot on any of the videos he's loaded up. This is his, it's in his wheelhouse. You reckon he might do it? in his editing. wheelhouse. I don't think he's ever missed. So this is a chance to do it. The Prime, he's been really heavily involved in this game. A nice shepherd early in the game. The Prime tone, looking like it might be the drop punt. Tight angle, he's on the boundary, he's in, nearly in the netball court. Kick on the way, the prime train has nailed it and he's given an almighty serve to a few spectators on that over the boundary. Don't worry about that prime train, that is a steel line goal of the day contender. That was a lovely finish, I like his work, Panda. I like it too. Dan Vaccaro, do you like it? Oh, mate, I, I love it. I reckon he's been really good today, boys. He's had five touches and he's kicked the goal. Not much more you can ask for from a pressure forward, boys. They've gone inside forward 50 once, Rovers, and they've already kicked their score. That's probably the difference of the day where Murderford have gone inside forward 50 and it comes straight back out. But really positive start by Rovers. Brody Philo, Sam Murray getting their hands on it early in prime train with a great finish there on the 40-wing stat sheet, Robbie. Loved it. So on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard, the Rovers 3-6-24. They're back in front. The Saints 3-2-20. Almost played five minutes in this second quarter for Wang Motor Group. Garish in the middle of the ground. He's in some serious form, this fella. Goes by hand to McCartney. Out to the big Ibis. And he comes wide looking for Smith of the Joel variety. Has to go in and win it. His hand pass was intercepted, though, by Declan Brand, who kicks the Saints to half forward. Oh, fly from behind there was Boyd. Up against Riley Sharp, not able to bring it down. Murray's kick was a bit of a wobbler. Down the wing, Bren gets his hands clear. Tries to go to Buka. Going in there was Dylan Wilson. And after all that, we've got a boundary throw in on centre wing, right in front of the benches, right in front of our broadcast position. And more importantly, right in front of Scott Montgomery for Waters. Yeah, Tommy Boyd got some air there, but I don't know if he even touched the footy there, boys. He might have got a bit lost in the sun or something, but just the defensive pressure again. They just didn't let it out there, Myrtle, and we were able to get a repeat set on the, on the centre wing here. Hey, Mont, keep an eye on... Uh Brody Philo. Yeah, he got tackled on the... Uh, His hand. On, yeah, he tackled on the cricket pitch and just yep. sort of slid across it. So might be a bit of carpet burn or, you know, something like that, I think, Robbie. Yeah, a bit like Panda up at the Buffalo River <laughs> or Lake. Here's Gerrish flying out of the centre. Top of the centre half forward area. The ball bounces. Wicks couldn't get it the first time. He did well. Oh, Mark Lou brilliantly got it to Prime Train for back-to-back -back goals. Handball over the top by Prime Train. Free He's kick. Gonna go it's a throw. Wow. It's going to go against the, the Prime Train on this occasion. You can't have it all your way. 
way all the time. It was uh, looking dangerous. Free kick, Myrtleford. Might be the Hurrigan out there at the uh, last line of defence. And it is Panda. And they're going to chip it, and it's going to go there to Jacobs. So Jacobs still in defensive 50. I like this boy from Maroochydore on the Sunshine Coast. Why would you leave the Exactly Coast? right. No, no, <laughs> no it's you? okay. It's beautiful here in the Alpine Valley. You and I will back it up. Why not? Jacobs follows up again. Aggressive kick in the middle of the ground. I don't mind it. Great Capillari kick. just left it behind at the last minute. McCarthy is as tough as nails. Hand passes backwards. They flick it around by Maraca, and the Saints just put on the boot. They go to half forward. Bren provides a contest against Shutt. Falls here to Simon Curtis. He goes to Winter Irving, gives it back to Curtis, who goes out wide. Really good movement. It's in the hands of Brody Riccardi, who pumps the Saints long. One versus three. Wales out the back was never going to mark it. Tom Boyd, one of those yep. three for the Rovers, intercepts. He goes to the defensive pocket, broadcast side Sam Murray. It's a four-point lead to the Rovers. 24 plays, 20. We've got a Push. 50 metre free kick here, seven minutes played of the Macca's time clock. He was a little bit stiff there, um, giving away that one away. Funny. Because Monty, what do you think about that one, mate? Yeah, look, it was probably there. A bit stiff that he bumped on and called play on, but because he hadn't called play on, obviously he can't enter that zone, so probably the right call. Yeah, fair enough. Go listen to the umpire's call. Play the whistle, Panda, or if you don't hear it, don't play it. If that makes any it sense. It does. It makes a lot of sense to me, Robbie. You know what I meant, don't yep. you? Even though I didn't get it through to you very well. Philo pumps it long. No one at home. The Hurricanes there, and he takes... Oh, he dropped it. Luckily, though, Levi Jeans is there, and he picks it. He goes across the ground looking for Riccardi, and it's gone out of bounds. So it'll be boundary throw-in, 45 metres around from the Wangaratta Rovers' goal, and they currently lead 24 to 20. Gone eight minutes on the Macca's time clock, and here's Panda. For the Old Town and Country Tavern which will be rocking tonight in Wangaratta. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Especially if those Pies get their first win. Gerrish has to go back to Philo, who kicks it on the boot. Not a great one, though. Didn't really look. Horrigan was sitting in the hole. Robbie's man from last year. Big yeah. fan of Lockie Horrigan. I love him, yeah. I just like something about the lad. Yeah, he's a tough operator. I reckon it's the name you like, Robbie. Yeah. Yep. yeah. The he, hooligan. He's a really good fellow, Lockie Horrigan, Yeah, too, I bet he so. is. He is doesn't he? say the same about you, Dan Vaccaro. No, <laughs> don't blame him. That's <laughs> Here's Josh Maraca, left foot kick on the wing looking for Ferguson's, but it's an intercepted here by young McCarthy. This is Will McCarthy, the yeah. brother of Alex. He's got a lovely left foot. He doesn't want to use it. Oh, bit what's going, going on, off on the ball. Yeah, there's a bit going off the ball, and there's going to be a free kick to Myrtle for change what's of possession. What's your spot? So I think Dylan Stone might have got a bit aggressive there with uh, the young McPherson and tackled him to the ground. All right, here's a chance for Elijah Wales to run onto one here. Joe Allen chases. Wales goes good short. Kick. kick looks good. Oh, yes. Sharpie swallows it. Beautifully weighted judge kick from Elijah Wales. Mont yeah, you love the footy in his hands around the 50. I reckon as a forward, you'd love to be leading to that because it just doesn't kick it too hard. Just sits out in front and a beautiful finish there. That's Mont for Waters down boundary side. And he's coming through crystal clear. Get out of your way now here, Big it. Mac. No, you're bandy. I, when I first got here, you were halfway out I the was. window. Hanging your legs out the... Jeez, it was an like ungodly a monkey. side. Now, what was going on? Sharp, this is a tight one. If you're listening on the radio, 35 out, almost on the boundary. Sharp's kick is, no, he's just pushed it a little bit to the left. And the old gold umpire slaps his chest and signals a point. Dan, for 40 winks, after I give the score, give me some stats, mate, and tell the story. It is Myrtleford 20, trailing Wangaratta Rovers 24. And this is for the Wangaratta Motor Group. Thank you, Robbie. It, look, very much the same as the first quarter, boys. Murderford have started really slow, and, and Rovers haven't put enough scoreboard pressure on, and they're coming back well. So three inside 50s to four in favour of Rovers at the moment. Uh, Brody Fowler getting really busy this quarter. He's up to the four touches, eight for the game. Alex Mark Lou, a long way from home. At right half back, he's kicked two goals, three already in this opening half as Alex Mark Lou. Kick wasn't all that great. Riccardi has it now. For the Saints, goes back. They've got the switch on here if they want it. The Saints aggressively in the middle of the ground. Here they go. It's opened up. Del Bosco hand passes on to young Bedendo. Goes back and they go inboard. Not a great kick looking for Brent. It's all Wangaratta Rovers here. Sam Murray deep in the back pocket. Left foot kick as a beauty. Finds Williamson and he's going to chip over the top to McCarthy. Oh, good strong hands here, the fella. Right in front of our broadcast position. The Rovers 24, the Saints 21. We've played 10 minutes of the Macca's time clock. Yeah, Simon Curtis, so read the kick nicely from McCarthy. Oh, An inside kick too. How about that for vision? 
Eat your heart out, Stevie Wonder. Hilton Joyce bangs it long. Goal square. Here's the Bren gun. Couldn't mark it. Ball comes to ground. Mirrors Lanaz is there. Handballed it off to the coach, Murray. Now Murray's kick, it's a bold one. He saw Mark Lou, who's come a long way up the ground. He's covered more ground than the early settlers, Alex. Mark Lou kicks it beauty. Finds Gerrish. He might even give it back to Mark Lou. No. Jack Duh. He handles over the top to Dylan Stone. Stone. Bob's a handball over the top now. They're really starting to run from Osborne. Kicks it long down the line. Good punch there by Jacobs. Myrtleford have got numbers in defence. Handball release comes to Levi Young. He's got Riley Booker. Booker off half back. He decides he'll go back towards the goal square. And that's where it sits. It's back with Jacobs. And he goes over to the netball side of the ground. And Monty for Waters, I tell you, Myrtle, they've got it controlling the ball okay. I love the style of footy they're playing. Yeah, absolutely. They take it on when they need to, but when they need to slow it down across half back, they definitely take their time and take the kicks on back to the middle once they move it forward a little bit. So here's McCarthy, Alex at half forward. Another great kick from the Ibis. How about that? He uses the ball well for a Ruckman. McCarthy's probably too far out to score. Searching lead in the pocket is from the prime train. Tom Bolsh, who will go back from 30 metres out on a pretty tight angle, Robbie. Best on ground for mine today so far, Alex McCarthy. There you go. Do you agree, please, Scott Montgomery? Uh, probably not quite my best on ground, but he's been pretty good, Robbie. I will agree if he's been pretty good. Yeah, he's, I've tr give me one who's better, Mon. Uh, well, Alex Markle has been pretty good. Yep. He has. Yep. <laughs> That's probably fair enough. Jack Robbie, Gerrish. Robbie gives the nod yep. of agreeing. So here's Tom Bolsh, the prime train. He's already kicked one. The only goal in this second quarter... He starts it out to the right. It doesn't come back <laughs> enough. And it's through for a minor score. So the prime train's got 1-1. One, one, and the Rovers go to 3-7-25. The Saints 3-3-21. Three, three, That's on the CMV truck and bus. Second quarter scoreboard. We play 12 minutes of the Macca's time clock. The Murray boys raffle it. And it's Ibis who gets it. Good kick too. He finds Chamberlain. Now Chamberlain at centre. Oh, he ran around Simon Curtis. That's cheeky. Curtis did put a bit of pressure on him though. Kicks it. Forward pocket mark. It's going to be paid. No, no, free kick's going to go against Alex Marklu. I think he's had a handful of jumper and then released late, so I think the umpire might have seen the jumper hold there, yeah. and that's why he's paid it. Austin Powers, a.k.a. Wicks, gets the free kick. He kicks it to half back. Rovers bring the ball to ground. Dylan, Will, Dylan Stone, handball was clever to Finn Osborne. Osborne's kick. 30 out from goal. They've got numbers there from behind. Hurrigan might have been good. Taps it. Philo, Philo's lurking. The little left foot kicks at beauty. Kyle Wilson takes it. It was Dylan Wilson, I think, who chipped it over yeah, to him. Yeah, Dylan Wilson. And Kai Williamson has marked oh, 35 out, 45 degree angle. Mont yeah, no, exactly. He's hit the nail on the head there. Dylan Wilson absolutely clean below his knees and hit the target. And this is one thing the wingmen do from the Wangaratta Rovers. They push hard forward and then come yep. back up and make their, other, their opposition really defend them hard. But Kai Williamson also had a little bit too much space there. So Williamson... To extend the lead to 10 points. Comes in. Kick on the way. It's a beauty. Gee, that's yeah. a nice drop punt. I don't know why they muck around with these other styles of kicking, Panda, when you can use it. I don't know either, like Robbie. That. It served the game so well for 120 years. 10-point lead to Wangaratta Rovers. 31 to 21. 15 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. And we're doing this one for the Wangaratta Motor Group. Uh, Daniel. Thank and you. give us a start, Robbie. Right. Yep. Get me out of trouble. Uh, great finish there by Rovers. They're just starting to really assert their dominance here. So they're up by 10 points. They've had the eight inside 50s to murder if it's five. So uh, really starting to get the ball moving. Brody Filer, he's had his hands on it. He's up to the five touches. Uh, Sam Murray's up, had four touches this quarter, which brings him to 13 for the game. Uh, really dominant display starting to brew here for the Rovers on the stat sheet. So 31 plays 21 on the CMV truck and bus scoreboard. The last three goals of the game mm. to the way the Wangaratta Rovers is the Ibis Murray with another clearing kick inside forward 50. Dylan Wilson's got his head over the football here. He's in trouble and he's pinged holding the ball. A free kick here to the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. Bit At stiff. half forward. Yeah, a bit stiff. It's Sam stiff. Martin. The boy from Benella, beautiful kick oh, through the hands of Winter Irving at the last minute. He's almost there at the moment, Winter Irving. Just needs to clunk one. Horrigan, left foot kick. Riccardi, handballs to space. Wasn't his greatest effort. McCartney beautifully yeah. just shrugs off an opponent and finds McCarthy. He retreated back, <laughs> and McCarthy goes back, and all of a sudden the Rovers <laughs> are in their own defensive 50. They're going to try and switch the footy and come to the broadcast side. Cody shuts in a fair yeah. bit of space, but he is ignored. 
and they find Dylan Stone. Still in D50. Monty, a good press here by the Saints. Yeah, absolutely. The way they were able to force them back by position, they just didn't let it an easy out again and just push them back, push them back. And now they're stuck in that far side. They should be able to hem them in here and not let them transition the footy. And it's back to McCartney. Now McCartney off halfback, runs moment two. It's a little high chipper, wasn't it? So still not out of trouble here. It's like a sand wedge, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. They still got a bit of work to do. Stones kick. Oh, it's missed the target. Ibis crashed into a couple but didn't get the footy. Good tackle by Mark Lou on Hurrigan. And it'll be a ball up centre wing. CMV track and bus scoreboard. 21 Myrtleford, 31 Wang Rovers. And on the Macca's time clock, we've gone 16 and a half minutes. Go get them, Panda. All thanks to Wanger out of Motor Group. Here's Capillari. Look at that. That's oh. a barrel. It's a torpedo punt <laughs> to half forward, which we don't see enough of. Maraca roves it brilliantly. Kicks it to a one-on-one. -on -one. McCarroll! Yes. Resting forward. Sticks the jukes up, and he'll line up from 20 metres out directly in front. When that ball went in the air there, he was licking his lips. I could see it from here. He had little Cody shut on him. He's probably given away six inches of height, and he just went, all right, I've got too much height here. So just got it, got it at his highest point, and a great grab straight in front, about 15 out. He's got a bit of talent, this young fellow. He puts on a bit of size. I reckon he can turn himself into a really good ruckman in the oven, Zamari. McCarroll goes in Ooh. and nails it. Made the umpire work a little oh. bit. But it's through for a goal. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints get their first in this second quarter. They go to 27. The Rovers are 31. It's only a four-point lead to the Rovers, Dan Vaccaro. You're absolutely right, Panda. And just when you think Rovers are starting to assert a little bit of dominance, Murderford come back. A really good kick inside forward 50. They saw the match up and, and a really good grab there by McCarroll. Uh, really good dominant display by Brady Riccardi this quarter for Murderford. He's up to the six touches. He looks really, really prominent with ball in hand. Simon Curtis, he's only had the three touches, but they've had their eighth inside 50 now, so they're starting to catch back up. Uh, really got to turn this game on its head. Yeah, and just quickly around the grounds, boys. Obviously, we've got Wangaratta taking on North Orby. They lead 30 to 21. And at the moment, three goals, 15-33. Is Yarrawonga leading the Raiders one Sorry, point. what? Three. three for, sorry, let's kick another one. So, 4-15 at the moment, boys. Wow. Goodness me. Down four they go. Sharp over around the footy. Winter Irving. Handball was blocked. Nice work by Paddy McNamara. Winter Irving won it back. Got a handball to Elijah Wales. Cody Shutt just got a hand on it. Got a second hand on it. And he sees it out over the boundary line. 70 metres around from the Myrtleford Gold. Myrtleford Trail 27 to 31. 18 and a half gone on the Macca's time clock. And we're doing this quarter for Wangrata Motor Group. Panda? We are indeed. Panda Escott with you. Robin McKinlay, Dan Vaccaro, Scott Montgomery. All thanks to the Old Town and Country Tavern. That's a mark to yeah. McCarthy on oh, centre yeah. wing. That's what you do when you play in front, Robbie. And well. It was through the hands there of Joe Allen on centre wing. Goes back, has enough time. Hand pass to McCartney. He's got an option in front of him and he finds it. It's Smith. In fact, it was McNamara. Hand pass it to the run man of kick. Dylan Stone. Goes inside forward 50 and sneaking out the back was Osborne and he's going to line up 20 yeah, minutes out. the 50. Paid paid the 50, 50. Well picked up on the boundary for Monty but once again great movement by the Rovers. Made him earn it. Absolutely was. Just a chain of hands and then a play just got out the back. Finn Osborne has been working hard across half forward and goes bang. He does indeed. Through for a steal line goal of the day. A Mawson's concrete play of the day. Great movement there by the Rovers and they get their third in this third quarter. 5-7-37, the Saints 4-3-27. We've played 19 minutes of the Macca's time clock, and that's on the CMV Truck and Bus scoreboard, Dan Vaccaro. It is, Panda, and they've, they're up to their 10 inside 50s now, Rovers. But just going back in that play there, Toby Murray's putting together an unbelievable yes. dominant yep. display. He grabbed it out of the ruck again for probably the sixth time this game um, and put it down the throat of one of his teammates. So it really starting to dominate here, Rovers. But Murderford just seemed to keep coming back every now and then. Well, he just continues to take the ball out of the bounce. Where it's a bounce in the centre or around the ground. The Ibis has just been grabbing him. And he's, this one's tapped towards McCartney. Going back to the Ibis. Gets another kick. Good kick. Lovely kick to Philo. Handball back to McCartney. Was chopped out nicely. Went back to... There's a free kick. Held. Held off the footy. There's a player gone down there. McCartney's... Uh, he's got a war against three Myrtleford players at the moment. And Riccardi's got the free kick at centre half back. 27 to 37. Wangrata Rovers lead. 20 minutes gone, second quarter action. Good mark by the hooligan. No, nope, sorry, by Sam Martin. Ah, oh, lovely kick. Fine sharp. Half forward, 70 out for Myrtleford. Wheels around. Kicks to space. McCarroll again. Oh, just over around the footy. Wasn't able to grab it. Ball at ground level. Good pressure here by the Saints. Shut, flicks it around to Paddy Murray. Under pressure, has to go to his brother. 
Wales is chasing him. Left foot kick is an absolute beauty. Relieves all the pressure and finds Stewie Booth at half back. He goes inboard to young McNamara. It's a 10 point lead to the Rovers. 21 gone here in this second quarter. What was that, Rob? Paddy, Paddy had his back turned. He had a handball already in the oh, back of the scone. Paddy McNamara might have gone, oh, it's the wrong Murray. I'm not yeah. giving it. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, we're back to Hilton Joyce, got a handball, a low kick there by Ferguson, was clever. Went to Irving, handball to Riccardi. Riccardi got it on to Sam Martin. Martin off the left foot, kicks long. They've got numbers behind here for four. Oh, well done, Mirrors. He got rid of it straight away. Good tackle there. Here's a chance for the young fellow, McPherson. Stayed with the footy, stayed with it, shoveled it out. Under pressure, I think it might be Maraca there. He turned, he got tackled, he got put down. The umpire says, that's against you, Maraca. And the free kick will go the way of... McCartney at half back. Good game of footy. 37 to 27. Rovers lead Myrtleford. Almost 22 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Second quarter action for Wangaratta Motor Group. Good pressure in this game at the moment, Monty, on the boundary for Waters. Yeah, absolutely. Hasn't died off at all from both sides. They're definitely putting both teams under the pump around the footy, forcing the quick hands, which is forcing skill execution errors. Really good kick there by Prime Train, boys. He's up to his eighth touch this game, and he's kicked one goal, one, and Murderford up to 11 inside 50s on the 40-wing stat sheet. That is an aggressive kick but it's going to pay off from Gerrish. Finds shut in the middle of the ground. It's open the entire play up here for the Rovers. Brody Philo will go on his left foot, and oh. that is a beautiful kick oh. from Brody Philo. Finds Alex Marklou 35 metres out in a slight angle. Nearly the best kick that's played in the wow. club, I reckon, in yeah. 10 oh. years. He's unbelievable. Both sides of the body. He's a right footer, but that was unbelievable there on his left. And just to hear, would you mind, leading to that, the, the Rovers forwards love some of the guys that get oh. to kick the footy inside 50 to them. Ninth touch for the than quarter, that. too. Uh, Brody yeah. Philo, boys, yeah. he's up to 14 for the game. That's why he's a Morris medalist, and that's why he's one of the best players in country footy. Alex Marthlou, Mark Lou lining up for goal number three. A steel line goal today. And the Rovers get their six. 6-7, six, 43. The Saints 4-3, 27. But, Monty, you can put that one down to Brody Philo. Absolutely. Just that kick, and even the... the the balls, I'd say, to get the ball back into the middle to Cody shut there. We just took the game on, got it in the middle, and then they got it to Philo, who just was never going to miss a leading target like Mark Lou there, who had a half a metre of space, but just that good hit him out in front. It was a kick down from Jack Gerrish that opened the whole play up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, mate. And Jack Gerrish has been fantastic this game too. So he's had the four touches this quarter and 12 for the game, but he's running. He's really what's it about, not so much his numbers. Two good sides. They both play a really good brand of footy. They take it on. That pass by Philo is as good as you will see anywhere. Del Bosco, the clearance king, to Riccardi. He goes all right himself. Geez, that's a good kick too. Winter Irving. Now he's marked it. 52 out. He goes short. He looks for Sharp. Sharp might have got interfered with there. Shut read it beautifully. A releasing kick now was good to Joel Smith. He'll give it to the coach. Good boy. Sam Murray now. Right at half back. Thumping kick down the line. Suey boots oh, a mile behind. Two middle for blokes flew together. Levi Young, but Young Ferguson does well. Got it back to Riccardi. Beats Booth. Keeps the ball in. Kicks it long down the ground. Yeah, kicks to a one-on-one -on -one at half forward. Coming through here and vacating his man was Chamberlain. The Saints with numbers. McPherson goes back to the co-captain, Del Bosco. Curtis's hand pass hung a long time in the air. They eventually... Find a bit of space through Nick Ferguson, right on centre wing. His kick is once again really aggressive. Good contest there between Winter, er sorry, Lanaz and Winter Irving at half forward. The Saints go inside 50. Bren marks it 45 metres out in a searching lead. Not sure who kicked that one, Monty, but it was a beauty. Yeah, Joyce. Joyce. yeah, great little finish again. Just sat it out in front, and Bren's looked dangerous when he's on the lead. He looks like he's got a little bit more toe and, uh, for his opponents and being able to get away, but just their composure out here when uh, Simon Curtis got in the middle there, there's no yeah. way they should have been able to get out of yeah. that position. The Rovers had him on toast, but just the kick to slow it down. And then the presence, quarter. the presence of mind to just take their time and then get it to to the leading forward. It's a massive kick in the context of this game. Halftime siren gone. Declan Brennell kicked from 45 metres out directly in front. He likes it off the boot, and that's a great way to finish the quarter for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. And we have a ripping game here on ONM Live. The Saints 5-3 to the Rovers 6-7. So it is a 10-point lead going into halftime on ONM Live. 
I like this game, Robbie. Game it is footy, a mate. big, big game, and I love it. It's four points. Crucial. Both teams want it. It's skills. Yeah, and both sides are taking a game on. They both want to attack. Happy to or prepared to open up the ground. The foot passing's been good. We've seen Philo's pass to Mark Lou down there, and then we saw Hilton Joyce there to Bren. Just beautiful play. Mont, loving this, mate. This is a cracking game of footy. The Saints are in a big goal. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams playing it like it's a final. Really high pressure around the ball. And then they're able to open it up every now and again, but then the other team brings it back and just slows the ball down. Half time here at the McNamara Reserve. 43 plays 33. It's a 10-point lead to the Rovers. And remember, on OM Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. Why we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app.
Trying to get it back through the middle, turn it. There's been a few turnovers, which comes from the pressure, and I think just the high, the high level of skill they're trying to execute is probably a reason why there has been those few skill execution errors going through the middle and turning the ball over, which has made a bit of a highway inside 50. But both defences are standing up really well at the moment. It's been a really defensive sort of game, and and I guess you hit the nail on the head. They're both teams are really playing a similar fashion of footy, I guess. And the difference in the scoreboard, and I can see probably Rovers kicking away. He's probably just that lacking of polish that Murderford have, as opposed to Rovers. We obviously know they're in a different state of their sort of tenure Murderford compared to where Rovers are they're trying to sort of compete for that flag where Murderford have dropped down so you can see that lack of polish that's come into play a little bit and that's probably just the difference today I think and we'll just quickly go through our goal kickers we've got Alex Marklu's kick three for the Rovers and also missed three so he's done three three and then singles to the prime train Tommy Belch uh, Finn Osborne and Kai Williamson while for Murderford all single goal kickers so far Riley Sharp uh, Sam Hilton Joyce Tom Capalali who's been fantastic I reckon Decker and yep. Brent who's probably been a bit stiff not to get and a couple others I reckon I reckon he's been really good too and Will McCarroll and for that second quarter Dan who's our Optus quarter's best? Well you can't go really go past Brody Filer that quarter for Rovers he Absolutely. was fantastic he had 9 touches he had 13 for the game he looks, he looked back to his Morris medal best that quarter he's kicking and that, that specific kick there inside <laughs> that, that left forward foot. 50 mm. was unbelievable that's what every footy player wants at the end of him when they're playing out of the skull square uh, Brody Filer was fantastic that quarter I thought Dylan Stone was really good as well he had the 7 touches for Murderford Brody Riccardi I thought was probably Absolutely. their best. He had 10 touches. He had 15 for the game. I dare say he's going to be leading possession getter too on the ground. So he's been really good, Brody Ricard. He's been a really good player for a long time for Myrtleford. Um, Simon Curtis, they need a little bit more of a lift from him. He's only had the eight touches, which isn't too bad, but he just hasn't had that impact that you usually see from someone like Simon. Uh, Sammy Martin, he's only had six touches to half time, and, and Mitch Del Bosco has been okay with nine. Probably need a couple of those bigger names to step up in the second half, Mont. Absolutely, and I think with Simon Curtis, he's playing a lot forward, isn't he? We spoke about it pre-game. Love to see him at half back and through the middle a little bit yep. more. That second quarter, he started to come up around the footy a little bit, but probably not enough for my liking. I think he's definitely carrying something, which I think yep. everyone's talking about. So it'd be nice to just know that so we can stop talking about it know that he's forward for a reason. Yeah, just but, put it to rest. Uh, let's go to those team stats on the 40-wing stat sheet there, Dan. Yeah, sure thing. So the centre clearance is a really interesting one. Murderford have won one for the day. So the centre clearances out of the middle have been really prominent by Rovers. Uh, the free kick counts 6-10. to 10. Funny little fact that Murderford only had one free kick in the first quarter to Rovers 5 as well. But the inside 50 is 22 to Rovers 25. So it's actually quite close. Murderford actually got the better of them that quarter in terms of the forward 50. So you could almost say it's the, it's the story of the first quarter with Rovers where it probably wasn't they weren't that effective going forward but they actually were managed to get the ball forward that um that quarter Absolutely, mate. And as you said, through the middle, we've, we've spoken about Toby Murray's game so far. Uh, in the ruck, he's really on top, isn't he? I know the Murderford boys every now and again win one, but I think that Toby Murray's influence in there is really helping those numbers bump up a little bit for the Wangaratta Rover midfielders. Oh, for sure. He's given them first purchase of the footy, and I actually reckon he's probably the most important player on the ground at the moment in that half. I know Robbie last quarter was talking about McCarthy, who's been fantastic as well. And Did a he get a quarter's guys. best yet? Who's that? Uh, McCarthy? Oh, I haven't given the quarter's best yet this quarter. Well, I've gone straight into the halftime show, mate. So, um, But I actually think Toby Murray's been unbelievable throughout the centre. He's been really, really good. No, absolutely. And we'll just quickly go around the grounds to the other games going on at the moment. On our sister station, 2AY, the game between the Wodonga Raiders and Yarrawonga. We have Yarrawonga kick 4-17, Dan. <laughs> 21 scoring shots, but only four goals on the board. Oh, I so 4-17-41, lead the Raiders 1-3-9. And the other game is going on down at Norm Minns Over. We have Wanga Radar taking on North Auburn. I tell you what, won't our man Blake Pander Escott be excited? 6 4 40 North Aubrey lead to Wangaratta Magpies 5 9 39. So, again, some inaccurate kicking going on in this competition at the moment. We saw last week Lavington kicked 18 behinds. Uh, Yarrawonga at the moment have 17 to half time, and Wangaratta have 9 to half time. So, I think there'll be some coaches out there making sure there's some goal kicking some coaching going on this week. Um, some frustrated coaches, but yeah, you mentioned Pander. He, has, he can't wipe the smile off his face no, at the moment. He's, been he's small sitting in the corner. He's a very happy man. I keep looking up to the box. Already, and you see, he's so got the he's phone out. He's messaging he's, the George um, Goody and those boys at <laughs> half time, just giving a bit of a rev up, making sure they know what's going on. Bloody hell. And you did touch on the scores of the OM. I will go to the scores in the AFL while we're here as well. So Brisbane Lions are playing Fremantle. So 8 goals, 7 55. Brisbane Lions at half time lead Fremantle 3 6. 24, and then in the other game, the Sydney Derby, which is Sydney leading 6 5 41 to Giants. Actually, Giants are winning 8 1 49 as well. <laughs> yeah, normally when they've got more points there. In yeah, front, yeah, they, they win. I <laughs> know. Oh, Shut up, Mon. <laughs> no, that's all right. And when does your team play, Dan? When we play 435 today against so they lose at 435. Yeah, Mitch Lewis court. back. Uh, a <laughs> couple of big names. A couple of big <laughs> debuts for Josh Weddle as well. So. Yep. Don't be surprised uh, by goals. an upset. Yeah. Ten what? goals. 
I reckon. I anyway, know. let's 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 look forward there into the third quarter and the second half. What do you think, Sam Murray and Funky Miller will be saying to their troops at halftime that they might be able to turn this game and just try and like, for the Rovers they probably want to just try and kick away yeah. in this third quarter. Whereas for Murdoch they probably want to keep going the way they're going, stay in this game for as long as they can and really put the uh, the Rovers under the pump and try and get back in it and hopefully get the result. Yeah, you're probably spot on there, Mon. It's a little bit of a hard one for Funky and the team to to come up with what they're going to do in the second half. As I said, you can't really fault Murder for too much. I think they've done most things right. They're just simply lacking the polish. Um, so whether they can figure out how they're going to do that and, and the pressure that they can apply probably needs to lift a little bit, I guess. Um, but apart from that, Murt can't do too much. And you, you hit the nail on the head with Rovers. They just really need to start asserting their dominance. Uh, Mark Lou, he's just absolutely dominating. I think he holds the key to this game. If he just explodes and starts kicking a bit accurately, um, this game could blow out. If you were funky, would you drop the tag on Sam Murray and get Elijah Wales around the ball a little bit more? Or are you happy with that matchup? Because I just feel Elijah's a player they rely on to give him a bit of grunt through the middle. Yeah. And at the moment, obviously, he's just playing that half-forward defensive role. He's probably not in the game, really. A couple of times he's been used going forward, but not very often. And, and Sam Murray, as you said, on the 40-wink stats, what's he up to? Look, Sam Murray's had 14, but I can't help but agree with you there with the Elijah with Elijah Wales. I'd like to see the tag drop. Yep. I think Elijah Wales has too much class for that footy. And you, you saw it a couple of times across that half-forward line for Myrtleford. He looks really dangerous going yep. inside forward 50. If I'm funky, I really want to see that positive side of him and back East players in and say, Elijah, you get in the you get in the middle and you win the ball for us. Sam Murray, he's had a lot of touches, but let's be honest, he probably hasn't had a great deal of impact yet. He's not hurting him. Um, no. He's not hurting him yet. But so. is that Elijah Wales' role that he has probably gotten him in poor positions to get the footy because of how much attention he is getting? Is that why he's not having the impact, do you think? Or do you think it's more just Sam's just not having one of those days? I think there's probably a couple of uh, situations where Elijah's pushed him into an uncomfortable position, but more often than not, there's a lot of just turnovers from Murray that are going back into the middle. So well, I'd really like to see Elijah Murray I'd like to see Elijah Wales really just put the put the foot to the floor in the second half and, and get in the engine room and start winning his own footy. And only three behinds for Myrtleford probably hurts uh, Sammy Murray's stat sheet at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah, thought he had 46 last week with nine of them kick out. So, yeah. you know, they do get inflated a little bit. So maybe it is the Tigers are doing a really good job and he just gets those ones like Nick Dacos where he gets those cheapies at oh, kicking I'm out. Not, <laughs> I'm not entering that argument. I was wishing mate. I was talking to Freaky right now. Did you, say, did you say Dacos or Sheasel? Sheasel. Yeah, sure. oh. <laughs> well, you know, one's a first year player, so, yeah, he's probably. <laughs> Win the, win the best. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you are here uh, listening to O&M Live. We're at the McNamara Reserve. It's half time. If you're just joining us, we've had an absolutely ripping first half and it sees at the moment Wanger at a Rovers 6 7 43, leading Myrtle for 5 3 33. We'll just quickly run over those 40 wing stats one more time for those listeners that have just jo- joined us, Vax. Yeah, sure thing. Might doing it for 40 winks. Inside 50 count was 22. Myrtleford to Rovers 25. And Simon Curtis, 8 touches. Brady Riccardi with the 15. Sammy Martin, 6 touches this half. Mitchie Dal Bosco's had the 9. Sam Hilton Joyce, 7. And Brody Philo's been prominent with 13. Sam Murray, 14. Jack Gerrish has had the 12, providing some really good run. Dylan Stone, 14. And Prime Train, he's kicked one and he's had the 8 touches. All those stats, thanks to 40 winks. So, all right, we'll be right back in not too far away for the bounce of the third quarter here at the McNamara Reserve. You're listening to O&M Live, and on O&M Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support.
Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff well-being program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Uh, welcome back to the McNamara Reserve. We're just about to start the second half. If you've just joined us, Wangratta Rovers 6 7 43 lead Myrtleford 5 3 33. <laughs> And Monty, for what is down boundary side, anything you've seen, any changes, injuries or weather changes, cyclones coming in, snowstorms, what do you got? Uh, nothing, it's still a beautiful day here on Myrtleford. Um, the only thing is, I've got a bit of an update with uh, Cam Chamberlain getting a bit of work on his hamstring here. So he might be, yeah, a bit iffy, to, he won't start the third quarter, so he'll be a bit iffy to see if he comes back. Yep. He's got an injury update from Ryan Stone too. He, uh, he's actually ruptured the ACL, so he's done for oh, the year. That's for, no uh, good. The Rovers did it against uh, Wodonga Raiders, so uh, unfortunately he said it was the most innocuous thing just running along at half pace and yeah did a did it fully so sad news for Ryan but uh, we wish him the best and hopefully he gets back next year and one that probably started his Rovers career maybe a little bit slow but has really picked up yeah. in the last couple of years hasn't he Mont as well so that's disappointing yeah absolutely before we went to Melbourne he was a fantastic player but his first year back he probably struggled that little bit but I thought yeah his first couple of games this year were fantastic all Third. right Panda we are away Murray won another tap and he won another clearance kicked it off the ground to half forward Dylan Wilson overran it. Nice work by Ferguson. Marked by Dylan Stone. Picks out Mark Ludy Marks. As quick as that. Just one little mistake. Good pre defensive pressure, though. And the kick by Dylan Stone to Alex Marklu. He's getting good service today, Mont, for Waters. Absolutely. When that midfield comes out and bursts away from stoppage like that, it's uh, hard to stop. And Marklu is just licking his lips on those leads at the moment. Three goals, three I've got him for today. Six shots, not bad, and a half a footy. Yep. And he's starting the second half inside the first minute for his seventh shot on goal. He'll kick a 12 one day, this fella, won't he? He's just gonna happen. Here he goes, 40 out, pretty much directly in front, and he likes it. He loves every little bit of it, so do his teammates. The Rovers get the first goal to start second half action. They lead it by 16 points, and we're doing this for STY medals. Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks, wake me up, brother. <laughs> really good finish there by Mark Lewis. He's up to his four goals for the, for the game. Toby Murray and Mark Lewis are the two best players on the ground at the moment, Robbie. That is just yep. not the start Murderford wanted. Toby Murray again out of the ruck, grabs it, kicks it forward, another inside 50, another centre clearance for Rovers. Looking slightly concerning here for Murderford, this game could blow out. 
Well, you're calling it like that, oh, Dan. Right. 16 oh, points. Oh, we'll home, One right. minute in the third quarter. Jeez. Oh, well. All right, we'll all pack right, we'll up your stuff we'll and see. let's get out of here by the sounds of things. We've got a good game here on RM Live. McCartney kicks the Rovers forward again. Bit of a strange old bounce. Mark Lou first there. Flicks it back to McCarthy, who goes really short and finds a man in the pocket. It's Gerrish, who gut run and pushed forward to make himself an option. Yeah, Any exactly, chance, lads? Exactly what he did, Panda. He, and that's a big part of his game. Yeah, great there by McCarthy again. Robbie's man just went short, was able yeah. to use it, was under the pump, didn't have a left foot, but found a guy on his right and perfect there by Jack Gerrish. Gut running, as you said, Robbie. 13th touch for Jack Gerrish too, boys. And he's using the footy better and better every week too, Jack Gerrish. So you line up from 40 metres out, slight angle. It's and across the face. There is the Robbie Moz. Good there is panda. the Robbie right Moz. Right right across Good the face. Through panda. for a minor score. The half century is up for the Rovers. 7 8 50. The Alpine Saints 5 3 33. That's on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. We've gone two and a bit minutes in the Macca's time clock. The hooligan kicks it in long. There's a lot of Saints around the footy. Oh, Maraca did well. Got a hurried left foot kick. Paddy Murray first to the footy. Handball released to Brother. Back to the other Brother. The three Murrays. It's like the backyard. Give it to Pete! Now they go back to Ibis. Pete leads. Ibis kicks it beautifully to Philo. Philo through the middle of the ground. Goes long. Gee, it's a good kick. Finds Dylan Stone. What about that from the Murray boys? Running with missing was the river. Here comes Stone. Showed a candy. Went to the left foot. Goes long. Mark Clue from behind. Takes a good grab. That was beautifully set up. Magnificent, Monty. What about that from the, the Murray Trio? Absolutely. And then Big Ibis, the one on the end of it who kicked it through the middle, founds Philo, who then gets it to Mark Lou, who snaps and misses. Just got it to the right-hand side. Four goals, four for Alex Mark Lou. And Rovers have started well. 51 to 18. Three and a half minutes gone. Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Yeah, third quarter action here for ST White Medals. Dan Vaccaro on our 40-wing stat sheet. Really positive start by Wang Rovers, boys. They're really starting to threaten this contest. Three inside 50s inside four minutes already. And as Dan Vaccaro said, game over, apparently. As Horrigan. Didn't say that. <laughs> exits defence. <laughs> you did. You did. Ashton McPherson, hand pass has been intercepted by Smith. Beautiful one over the top to Stone, who comes in board to Wilson. Ball's 50 metres out. Gerrish kicks it to the hot spot in the space. Prime train out the back. Takes it on his chest. And he'll line up 20 metres out. Pretty tight angle, but you'd expect him to go back and nail this one. Absolutely, you would. And just look at the little Murderford boys that are following him end to end today. It's great to see behind the goals. So the prime train. <laughs> They're loving it. Uh, I mean, he's just, uh, I don't know what he's doing here, but he's just getting close to the man of mark. Oh, look at this. Runs around, snaps on the left to cool as you like. A steel line goal today for the prime train, Tommy Bowles. She's got his second. And the Rovers have kicked the first two goals in the third quarter. 8 9 57, Myrtleford 5 3 33. And maybe our man Dan Vaccaro might be right. It's starting to break open a little bit. A 24 <laughs> point lead here to the, uh, to the Rovers. You're absolutely right, Panda. They're looking really dangerous here, Rovers. As I said earlier, they look like they're threatening to blow this game open, and they're starting to do that now. So Myrtleford really need a reaction. Out of the centre clearance here. Well, I've really enjoyed Prime's game today, and I reckon they might have been on, they're onto something here. Yeah. They're playing a lot deeper, and he can be just a little bit elusive. He's playing a real small forward, opportunist type of role. Nine touches, two goals. It's a good game so far. Another clearance there, tap by the big Ibis. Philo tracks it. He was chased down by Sammy Martin. Coming through hard was McCartney. Look at Philo. Quick hands out the back. It's got to go the way of Elijah Wells. Clever kick off the ground was smothered. Maraca through traffic. Gathered it. On to Martin. On over the top to Winter Irving. Oh, Bedendo just missed it. Paddy Murray through traffic. Look out, Paddy. Oh, they Ooh. didn't give Paddy much chance at all. They were red hot. And Bedendo gives Paddy a mouthful. So, Addison Bedendo. Young fella through the thirds. Wins a fortuitous free kick, it's fair to say. Too far out to score. Kicks it deep into attack. All Rovers down there. Brent off the ground. Quick snap off the left. And it's through for a minor score. Not the result the Saints were after. 5-4-34. The Rovers 8-9-57. It's a 23-point margin on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard as we tick up towards the six-minute mark in this third quarter for STY Medals. Big Mac. He certainly could... Oh, it's kicking by Sammy Murray. He's a Barry Crocker. Jeez, it put a lot of pressure on Dill Stone. He did well. He got it out to Tommy Boyd. Kicks it back now to Mirrors. Lanaz. That's a dangerous kick as well. Picked up. Snap on the way there. And was it Brenton? Or Maraca? I'll give it another it's go. Booker. It Booker. was Booker. It was Riley Booker who read it beautifully. Better than I did. 
and he snapped it through, but two very dangerous kick-ins there. They got a little bit cute there, the Rovers, and they paid the, paid the penalty. 6-4-40, Myrtleford, 8-9-57, Wango to Rovers. That's on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard, Dan Vaccaro. Really, really positive start by Rovers, but it's come back from Myrtleford. It's been the story of the first half where Rovers look like they're going to kick away, and Myrtleford just bite back. So the fighting spirit for Myrtleford's good. They just need more polish around the footy. A great finish there, Monty, by Buka. Yeah, he's dangerous, isn't he, around goals. He's a great player and just sniffed that one out. And traditional Naz would love to have that time again, I reckon. So back in the middle and a free kick straight away. I think Gerrish might have still been in the circle and now probably wanted to throw it up. To young Riley Forrest who gives it off to Del Bosco. In space, Riley Sharp. Just mm. lost his opponent there. It was Tom Boyd and takes it on his chest in the end. Probably 45 metres out on a slight angle. That's what you want to do when you get those free kicks. Get it in as quick as you can and as deep as you can to your big keys because the, the key defenders aren't quite expecting it that quickly. So great decision there to just get it on the boot and get it forward. Vaccaro called it all over. He did. This is to bring the margin back to 11 points from Riley Sharp. He's already kicked one today. Usually a good drop punt. That is gun barrel straight. And this one certainly isn't over. Riley Sharp gets his second the Saints get their seventh, 7-4, seven, 46. The Rovers, 8-9, 57. All of a sudden, in this third quarter, it's back to an 11-point margin. Yeah. yeah. You go, sorry, Max. Yeah, sorry, Mon. But look, it was just a story out of the centre. Who's going to win the centre clearances is going to start kicking goals. And Murderford, for the first time this game, is starting to assert their dominance out of the middle. Uh, it is already, yeah, two clearances to one this quarter, but the inside 50 is four inside 50s a piece. Had eight goals in the last 15 minutes of play. Wow, I was just about to yeah. say that, Robbie. Either side of half time. Dylan Stone out of the middle. Got it out there to young Will McCarthy. And now they take it to half forward. Sitting out, it was Wilson. He's tackled. He had to get rid of it. He's going to be penalised. And there's a little bit of a dust up. Ooh, just watch it out there, boys. He's getting a bit willing. He's a feisty character, young Dylan Wilson. Yeah, and so is Mitch Del Bosco, who was right in the middle of that and too. He doesn't nice mind pair. it. There is uh, Elijah Wales, the bald-headed warrior. He's the new bald-headed warrior, At is he? At the moment, until Maddie comes back. <laughs> well, apparently only a couple of weeks away during the week, according to Ben Reid, which we love to see. So Elijah Wales goes back to Del Bosco. They want to switch the footy. He runs a long way, does Del Bosco, and kicks a torpedo mongrel punt in the middle of the ground. You can't turn the footy over there. Prime train out the back, takes a mark, and will he go back for goal number three? He'll have to kick from every bit of 52 or three metres. Does he have it in him, Monty? Oh, I reckon he's backing himself here, and I reckon, uh, yeah, I reckon he's got the distance. I'm just not sure about the accuracy, but I reckon he's got the distance. So he'll have to kick from, as I said, 52 metres, 45 degree angle broadcast side. Kicking to the Mount Buffalo, Lake Buffalo end. Mm. So prime train for number three. Oh, look Gives at this. it everything. It's pretty good off the boot. And he's running to the crowd and he loves it, the prime train. A steel-eyed goal today. He loves it. The girls down there certainly love it as well. And the margin's back out to 17 points. He's got three, Monty. <laughs> Yeah, he's looked pretty dangerous today, hasn't he? He's been able to be a bit of elusive, but just a turnover through the middle of the ground. Really killed um, his opponent there, who is Alex Jacobs, who got a bit offside because he was trying to push up behind the footy as they were moving forward, and then he's been able to sneak out the back and take that mark. But, yeah, great finish from outside 50. Yeah, absolutely spot on there, Monty. He's had, a, he's had 10 touches this game. He's kicked three goals. His best game in the Rovers' colours this year. He's starting to really look dangerous. We've had five goals in mm -hmm. 10 minutes yeah. of footy in this third quarter. That's uh, good footy. Yeah, it is, and the, there was late goals before half time Panda there was four goals in the last eight minutes before half time so this is good stuff uh, here through the middle of the ground leaping around there throwing around was Gerrish off half back McPherson I've liked this lad's game how about that for a vision beautiful handball over the top there to Hilton Joyce showed a bit of candy look at the pass beautifully to Sharp and he marks 45 out go back and have a shot big fella he decides he'll go short fair enough finds Elijah Wales. We might have another goal coming up here. It is sensational quarter for STY medals and that's appropriate because they are a su superior supplier of medals in the in the local area. I can tell you that, Panda. Yeah, I know my medals. Hegel was out there, Sharp. Just got up quickly and, and great leading pattern there from Wales who led back towards the goal square and then come back up because uh, Sammy Murray dropped off and great hit. Here comes Elijah Wales. Kick on the way. Looks good. It's swinging late and hits a post. Hit the old Wilbur post, halfway up, 
47 to 63. Wangrata Rovers lead, 11 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Dan Vaccaro, 40 winks. Well, the inside 50 counts really, really even, boys. So it's four, five inside 50s apiece this quarter. So really even contest and the game's just opened right up. So this is young Will McCarthy, left half back. He's got a lovely left foot. Finds the big Ibis, Toby Murray. Oh. Just misses his target. It was reefed in there by Smith out on the far <laughs> wing. Horrigan goes in for the Saints. They dive on him. McCartney. Like you at um, third slip for the Wang Maggies. Yep. That was a couple of years ago because I hang on to those, gave up you, cricket. Didn't you, Pan? You used to hang on to them. Yeah, a lot better than Gus McLeod in the slips I oh. hit. Well, he doesn't Come dive. He just stands no, there. Stands Joker there. McLeod. Doesn't even run down to third man when it slips through his hands. Lost on another grand final, you yeah, know. Yeah, he did. Uh, on the far wing there, the Saints flick it around. Good pressure around this footy. Over Unbeaten the boundary all line. Year. Unbeaten all year, two years in a row. And we've got a boundary <laughs> throw in. So the score here, if you are just joining us, the Rovers 9963 lead the Alpine Saints 7 5 47. A 16 point margin on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Three goals to the prime train, four to Mark Luke. Ooh, that's a dangerous combination, isn't it? Uh, Wang Gorada have just hit the front to 52 to 40 against North Aubrey. Here's Hilton Joyce, got a hairball from Curtis. Goes long, sharp, is looking dangerous. He's over the footy, he got round one, handball over the top. Winter Irving, he'll run into an open goal and he kicks it. The Saints get it back to 10 points. 8 5 53, Wang Gorada Rovers 9 9 63. 12 and a half minutes gone for STY medals. And that's on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Dan Vaccaro, what are those inside 50s looking like? 6 2 5 now in favour of Murderford. You just, you got to admire their effort, Murderford. Funky Miller's obviously gone out there with the message, but a really, really gutsy performance there by Murr. Starting to win it out of the centre. Uh, some really good players, Sam Hilton Joyce, Mitch Dubosco, starting to get their hands in the footy and they're getting reward for effort. Uh, Rovers really got to just pick up their inside 50, uh, really inside 50 efficiency. You got Brody Filo. You got Jack Gerrish, you got really good ball news. They've just got to be a little bit more polished this quarter. Good out the back again, the Saints, Monty. Yeah, that's it. And I'd love to see Simon Curtis getting around the ball, and I reckon he's going to get a free kick maybe here. Or someone's gone in a bit early, but he was the one who got around the stoppage, got that handball out, and then they were able to kick the goal through a, a great effort by Sharp to get it over the top. To hey, hey, hey. So Toby Murray's got a free kick here. The Rovers got a free kick here straight out of the middle. Not sure what for. I think it was uh, the wingman coming a bit earlier. Yeah, right. Yeah, the far side. Doesn't miss much down there on the boundary for Waters. Does our man Monty as Gerrish pumps it forward. Great body yeah. work early. Great body work early by Mark Lou. And he'll line up for number five. What, 25 metres out in a slight angle. Yeah, that's forward craft right there. This timed his push perfectly, so the ball's within that five metres and pushed off. And, yeah, great set of hands. He's very dangerous when he's in this sort of form, Alex. So he'll kick from not far out at all. In ominous form is Alex Mark Luke. His body's right. We know he's banged up towards the end of last year. For goal number five, no mistake. Mark Luke's got five. The Rovers got 10. 10 9 69. The Saints 8 5 53. And you know what? You may as well not have any defenders because there is no defending happening in this game whatsoever at the moment. And we love it here on Owen yep. Live. It's really funny. Me and Mont were talking about it at half time. A real defensive minded game in the first half from both teams. And this game has just opened up really wide open. So seven inside, uh, six inside 50s now for Rovers to murder for six. They're both getting the ball inside forward 50. And the polish was really good there and a great finish by Mark Lou. Yeah, and again, that Toby Murray just held on. He had a free kick. Held on to the ball, held on, waited for the right option, and he hit him up with a beautiful pass. It's good stuff from the young fella. Ferrell got the ball, the clearance out. Been intercepted by McCartney. Off the back, he handballed to Clive Chamberlain. Oh, he's been tackled by Winter oh, Irving. Bang. Absolutely picked up and dumped. He didn't know, he thought he'd run into a semi trailer. It was big Winter Irving. Great tackle. He won himself a free kick. 70 out, lobs it up. They're sharp, can't mark, over the back, Rovers will mop up, Cody Sharp tackled, and it will be a ball up, Panda. 30 out for Myrtleford's gold, Rovers lead 69 to 53, 15 and a half minutes gone, STY medals, third quarter action. Yeah, I like the look of that win to Irving, provides a contest. Yep. This quick snap was smothered there from Martin, he's going to get it back. He was tackled by McCartney for the Rovers, ball still just... Dangling around half forward here for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. They play on. It was young Bedendo. Won a free kick and took the advantage. And his kick was smothered. Not great. Riley Sharp almost gave away a free kick. Bren goes back to Wales. Once he's left foot. They're playing around with it here a little bit. This is good heat Help. by the Rovers. There's a free kick, yeah, Monty. Yeah, going to go to Elijah Wales after he gave the handball over to Sharp. Just got held on to and the tackle continued on. So we got a free kick. About 25 out straight in front. And this again... <laughs> 
is an opportunity for the Saints to bring the margin back to 10 points. Didn't someone say the game was going to blow out yes. about five minutes ago? Yes, he did indeed. Our man Dan Vaccaro on the 40-wing stat sheet. And Wales has gone bang. And the margin's back to 10. Goal for goal here at the McNamara Reserve on A&M Live. We got a beauty on 15 double six three and e The Saints, 59. The Rovers, 69. 16 minutes played in this third quarter, Dan Vaccaro. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Panda. Good finish by Elijah, but Murderford coming back really strong here. And as you said, I was I was counting on a, probably a bit of a blowout, but Murderford have been unbelievable this quarter. They've really fought hard inside 50s again, so seven apiece now for both teams. So a really even contest. Sammy Martin was great there with a the 1-2, so a bit of polish there by Murderford this quarter. Eight goal quarter. Eight goal quarter. In 17 nine. minutes. Will Ferrell won the tap. Thumped it forward too. They're going to go inside 50 again. Oh, through traffic there. He got knocked over to Riley Booker. And he's been penalised. Great tackle there by Chamberlain. Just a plays a role, doesn't he, every Yeah, week. I like this lad. Oh, dangerous kick. This is going to test Smithy out. It goes over the back. Here comes the Bren gun. <laughs> Kicks it long. Just out from the top of the goal square. Sharp. Second bite. Couldn't get it. Elijah Wales. He'll kick this. You betcha! Steel line goal of the day. Elijah Wales gets his second. Margin back to four points. Myrtleford 65. Wang went arrive at 69. 17 and a half minutes gone. This is good footy on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. Monty, what about that? Yeah, how good is that, Elijah Wales? We spoke about it at half time. Vax and I, that he needs to get into the game and inject himself. And I'll tell you what, Sammy Murray now has kicked two in a minute. Elijah, he needs to put some of the clamps on him because he's doing that defensive job on him. And he's probably taking the points at the moment in this quarter. You're absolutely right, Mon. A fantastic finish there again by Elijah Wales. Murder for just playing inspired football. They're managing to surge the ball forward. And Rovers have no answers at the moment on the 40 wink stat sheet. 69 to 65. The Rovers lead a goal every two minutes oh. in this third quarter, which is what you love to see. The Saints are back in it, and they've won a free kick for holding the ball through Mitchy Del Bosco. A good tackle in the middle of the ground on McCartney. The crowd's up and about. They're all out of their cars on the far side of the McNamara Reserve, which is what we love to see. Simon Curtis goes out wide. Here's McPherson. Like the look of this kid. From their third system, he's got a runner. It's Curtis, the bloke that gave it to him. He runs to half forward, kicks a long drop punt to the hot spot. Sharp's caught out the back. Here's Brody Riccardi who oh, snaps, no. who snaps and <laughs> goals! And the Saints are unbelievably in front. An opportunistic finish from Brody Riccardi. A steel line goal today. And Myrtleford are in front by two points. 90 minutes played in this third quarter for Mackers. You're absolutely right, Penner. And what a finish there by Brody Riccardi. Their forward craft and their small forwards is unbelievable, Myrtleford. And he's had an unbelievable day. 16 touches. He's kicked a goal. He's probably had a hand in about three or four, Panda as well. Simon Curtis again. He's had three touches in about a minute of footy. So they're all playing inspired football, Robbie. So unbelievable. Simon Curtis in the middle has been the big yep. difference here. He's, he hasn't done a touch of the heat, but what he's done has been really good. And with that kick he's got, he's carrying 60, 70 metres. So really getting a deep for him. The margin got out to 24 points. Here they go again. Sammy Martin out of the middle. He's lifted too. Kicks it to half forward. Good grab. Taken out there by Allen. Uh, sorry, McCartney. And he releases to Sam Murray at the handball. He did an end to his brother Toby. Toby's kick was smothered. Garish got knocked around a bit. Dylan Stone's handball was good. Sam Murray continues to run. Gathered the footy. He goes one way, went back the other end, and he kicks it backwards 20 metres to the Ibis, the younger brother. His kick, no, not great. Kept it too low, and it's been intercepted right in the middle of the ground by Winter Irving. Having a great quarter. Comes out to the centre wing. Martin's kick, a bit of a wobble oh. to half forward. Oh. The bounce here, Capillari and Smith. Capillari wrapped him up. Smith wants the boundary line, and it just trickles over. Good pressure all around. The Saints crowd are up and about, and they get a boundary throw in 60 metres around from their goal. They lead by two points. 71 plays 69. Scott Montgomery for Waters. Just on boys. Shubu have come off limping just then, so they're just getting a bit of attention on the bench, so hopefully nothing too major, but I'll keep an eye on it. Ten goal quarter, six to Myrtleford, four to Wangaratta. Myrtleford lead if you've just joined us by two points. They trail by 24 earlier in the quarter. Farrell got the tap. Uh, Murray did well. That was the Ibis. Toby kicked a high up and under. Sitting underneath is a mark. Oh, he's stiff if he didn't get paid that. Very stiff indeed. And it's going to be a ball up. 
Jeez, this game is lifted. It's a this great a game. Great game, of, great game of footy. Great quarter. This is the best, Panda. best quarter I've seen for the year, hands down. Here's Dylan Stone. They need to get the ball in his hands. Look at Prime. Goes forward. Here's Dylan Wilson. He's out the back. Will it sit for him? Him and Ashton McPherson. Wilson just dives on him. Wants a free kick. Umpire says no. Ball up. Dangerous position here for the Rovers. 25 metres out from their goal. Monty? Yeah, here the Wangaratta Rovers coaches yelling out. Just set the ground up. They haven't had a chance to get it inside the 50 for a little while. So they're going to try and defensively set up so their cousin come out too easily. Myrtleford lead by two points. Farrell won the tap. It's well read, well read here by young Allen, but he can't gather it. Prime trains there trying to reef the ball out. And it's going to be a ball up. 15 metres out from the Wangaratta Rovers goal. 71 to 69. 22 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Third quarter action. STY medals. This game is a cracker. 10 goals this quarter. It'll probably go close to 30 minutes. Well, it should. And we're going to have another boundary throw in, Panda. What do you got for us for 40 winks there, Dan? Oh, it's just been a great battle this quarter the whole time, boys. It's Rovers 8 inside 50s to Murderford's 10. Prime Train's been really good up forward. Dylan Stone's had the seven touches, so what a great entertaining last quarter we're set up for. Panda, Robbie, Monty and Dan for the Old Town and Country Tavern. There's a free kick, Monty, to the Rovers. Yeah, going to Elmer Fard pushing the back in the ruck contest mm. there. Probably just McCarroll just got a bit carried away with his, uh, probably the strength advantage he had and just pushed him straight in the back and Elmer will line up for number six. Too, too many a bit of mayo on it too. Too many bicep curls, I reckon, for McCarroll. So a free kick here for Mark Lou. He's kicked the ball pretty well today. He's got five goals, four. He's had nine shots. So he's going to line up from 45, 45 degree angle, right in front of the scoreboard here at the McNamara Reserve. Drop punt on the way, and it's oh, through from minus score to the near side. So the Rovers 10-10-70, the Saints 11-5-71. It is a one-point ball game, 23 minutes of the Macca's time clock. Third quarter action for STY Middles. Going to be close to one of the best, hasn't he, Mont, when he come into consideration? Mark Luke, 5-5. Yeah. Five, five. Ten shots on goal. If he yep. kicks another two or three of them, the game's probably nearly over, and he's best on ground for eight goals. But at the moment, still in it. But, yeah, Myrtleford, they've got to make him hurt here, Rovers, if they get another chance here inside 50. The hooligan, Hurrigan, kicks it long. Underneath was Forrest, Whit Irving's there. Nice work there by young uh, McCarthy. Will it was. Picked up by Philo. Pamble to Chamberlain. Kick's going to be good. Mm. Finn Osborne, he's a bit of a terrier. Well read by Hilton Joyce. Oh, and uh, he's been tackled right on the oh, boundary line. He's no. been penalised. Ball was out of bounds. I would have thought oh, that, Robbie. What do you think? Car park. Finn Osborne. Finn, you got to come around. Oi, Finn. Yeah, round. That's it. <laughs> you almost heard you then, Robbie. It's, come on, Finn. Now, Finn, he's 55 out. Long kick. Mark Lou's lurking. It might go through. Oh, Mark Lou, no. It's a big fella. Has grabbed it. Alex Mark Lou. And it pays on, has a bounce, snaps it over his shoulder. He's kicked six goals, five. Wangrata Rovers are back in front. What a game of footy. 76 to 71. Alex Marclou, six goals, five. Monty, not bad. Been really good and just watched that footy all the way there. Wasn't far away from Finn Osborne from going through, but Alex Marclou just read it beautifully in the air and took the grab on the line and then took a bounce, Robbie. I've never <laughs> seen a bloke take a bounce in the goals for all that before. <laughs> Did the umpire call in to play on? No, he just did his own thing, mate. He said, I'll just, yeah, just Al cruise Elmer's back. just his own cat, isn't he? Oh, he just does what he wants footy. to do. This is great footy. Best game of the year, boys. Ten inside 50s apiece this quarter. They are looking like they're going to butt heads for the next 30 minutes in the next quarter, but what a what a game. Three goals to Mark Lou in this quarter. Two goals to the prime train. 76 the Rovers, 71 the Saints. 24 minutes played on the Macca's time clock. Third quarter for STY medals as Gerrish kicks a high tumbler. Mark Lou, outstretched, not able to mark. Philo, did he cop one high? Umpire says, I'll have a ball up, thank you very much. 40 metres directly in front of the Rovers goal. Mark Lou doing the rucking. Inside forward 50, Del Bosco. 10, 15 players around this footy, and we're going to have another ball up inside 50 here for the Rovers. Great game on O&M Live on 3 and E. Five-point lead to the Rovers, 26 played in this third quarter. Yes, it should go over the 30. Follow, long range, snapshot from 50. Mark Lou's there, can't get it. Good mark taken by Jacobs. It wasn't Mark Lou, it was the prime train. Jacobs took a good grab, played on, got it on to Brody Riccardi. Riccardi's got a chip over the top to Levi Young. He does it really well. And Levi Young between half back and back pocket. 
Comes through the middle of the ground. Aggressive. Risky. It cleaned him up. Missed them all. Here's young McPherson. Got a high one. And he's going to get a free kick right in the centre of the ground. I love this kid's game. Jeez, he's a goer. Young uh, Ashton McPherson. Write that name down. He's got a bit of footy ahead of him, this lad. He does indeed. Kicks up to the half forward flank. Far side of the ground. Floating in the hole there was young Bren. Yeah. He's taken the mark, 55 metres out. Wants to play on quickly, looking for Inter Irving. In fact, oh. no, it was McCarroll. Unable to take the mark out of the goal square. Kick is cleared by the Rovers. Here's McPherson again. Cool, <laughs> calm, collected. Finds Hooligan. Sweeping hand pass to Del Bosco. He's got Capillari on his left foot. Capillari goes by hand to McPherson again. Flicks it over the top to Del Bosco. A couple of Rovers tackle him. Good footy. Farlow's got to get rid of it. Great tackle by Hilton Joyce. And he wins a free kick. 60 metres out for the Saints. Got a few on their own. Bedendo's one of them. And he marks. Oh, what a hit. And he marks. What a hit. Hilton Joyce. And give credit to Bedendo there. He got out his own. He held, he held, he held. Didn't get too far back. And then you got to, but then it was all about the poise and the kick. It was absolute beauty. Absolutely. Sam Hilton Joyce there put the pressure on. Tackled follow from behind. And then that bullet like pass. Didn't have to break stride there, did he at all? Addison Bedendo. And he'll go back to try and take the lead again for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. He hasn't kicked a goal today. Bedendo. Directly in front, kick on the way. Oh, look at that. That is straight as a gun barrel. Myrtleford back in front. 12 goals, 5 77. Lead the Wangaratta Rovers 11 10 76. Almost 28 minutes gone on the Harvey Norman betting scoreboard. And we're doing this for S. T.Y. Medals. Thanks, Robbie. An absolute shootout here at McNamara Reserve. Murderford have had the 12 inside 50s this quarter to Rovers 11. A really good finish there and a really good kick by Sam Milton Joyce. He's had 11 touches today. Not huge numbers, but really good when he's had the footy. So, young Addison Bedendo, another one of these Murderford Alpine Saints youngsters who are getting a crack under Craig Miller. We love it. So, the Saints 77. The Rovers 76, 28 minutes played here in this third quarter. They're inside 50 again. Riley Sharp coming out, flicking a beautiful handball to Hilton Joyce. Sold a little bit of candy. Unlucky not to win a free kick against him there. The Rovers, clear defence and young Gerrish marks it right half back. He's got McNamara running in space. Still just in his own defensive half. Mark Lou Oh, he hung Mark Lou. A Mawson's concrete mark of the day. That was a brilliant mark. The kick wasn't all that great that followed. And Forrest in the hole for the Suns takes it at half back. I didn't want that quarter to no. end on RM Live. Three quarter time siren. Sounds for STY medals. And the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, 12 5 77 to the Wangaratta Rovers, 11-10-76. Do not go anywhere if you're listening or watching on the live stream. Game of the year so far, it is an absolute beauty. Remember, on a &M Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support.
Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> The rules, Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. OM live action from the McNamara Reserve. And we have an absolute beauty. The Myrtle for Alpine Saints, 12-5-77. The Wangaratta Rovers, 11-10-76. What a quarter of football we had in this third quarter. And I tell you what, if we have anything like it here in this last quarter, we're in for a grandstand finish. Blake Pander Escott with you, Dan Vaccaro, Scott Montgomery and Robbie McKinlay. And Dan Vaccaro, tell us, why was the third quarter the way it was? It was unbelievable, Panda. 13 inside, 50 to 12 in favour of Myrtleford. Myrtleford showed so much guts. That opening 10 minutes, I think I might have called it a little bit too early. I thought they could have been in trouble of a blowout, but they have been absolutely... Absolutely amazing Murderford. So 13 inside 50s to 12. On the back of Curtis being put into the midfield. He only had the three touches that quarter, but he's using the ball well. Sammy Martin, he had four touches. Sam Hilton Joyce, he had six touches as well. Mitch Dubosco, six touches. So everyone in that midfield is just getting the reward for effort. And their clearance work was fantastic that quarter. They started winning the ball out of the midfield. Rovers still had really good ball use. Jack Gerrish, Dylan Stone had seven touches that quarter, and Prime Train kicked one and had two touches as well. Hey, Mont, just have a look around, mate, but I'm not sure, and I might be wrong, I'm just seeing where, Alan, where Simon Curtis is going to to play. I can't pick him up out there on the field. So you might have to have a look towards the interchange boxes, mate. I can't see him down forward or back, and he's certainly not in the middle there. Yeah, I can't see him either, mate, so I'll try and Unless follow Unless he's uh, had to go and... Might have to relieve himself, yeah. but you never know. But anyway, I wanted to have a listen to Funky and Sammy, and um, Funky was just very positive. He was so happy with what his boys have been able to do. Just said, we just got to keep going now. Let's take it on. We have to reward our runners. Every time they get out, let's use them. If the winger out of defenders want to drop off and, and not defend, just let them go. Let them go and use the guys that come up. And for Sammy, he was like, let's just get our run back. We lost our run. Now to make sure we pick it up again in this last quarter. And last thing, boys, Robbie. Yo. We've got a little special throw uh, mentioned here. Mark from Beechworth, Mirror's grandma's here in the crowd today and she's listening in, so oh, cheerio to Mark. Thanks Mark. for coming down and she's a massive listener, Robbie, and loves your yeah, work. She is, and I love you, Mark. I've never met you, but I've just got the vibe from your uh, grandson, Mirror's. Um, yeah, I know you're a listener. Good on you, Mark. Let's see it with a great game. Your little boy's going all right too. Here we go. Murray flew high, won the tap. 
Philo overran it. Del Bosco, gee, had a big third quarter. Again, McPherson off half back. His kick was a hurried one. He found Cody shut for Wang Rovers. Got a handball to Sam Murray. Murray, long, penetrating kicks. A good one too. Ch hunting after it was the prime train. Now Myrtleford again. McPherson intercepts again. How, what about a game he's had? He could be a contender. Riccardi was good. Inside handball now to Hilton Joyce. Over the top here. Maraca was caught. Might have got one high, Panda. He did. He gets a free kick. They'll go forward here. So they don't muck around. They go short to Winter Irving. Wheels around straight away. Pumps it long. Riley Sharp's down there. Out the back, Brand. There's a whistle. Ooh, and there's a free ball. kick, Monty. Yeah, just uh, he's paid over the shoulder Well, there. Bren has played on with no, the advantage. No, he's going to pull back. Going to pull back. Everyone stopped. Um, so we free kicked to Sharp. About 20 out straight in front. Just Tom Boyd just probably a little bit you know, anxious. Got the arms up and got over the shoulder. So the umpire was in perfect position there. It was, it was a bit stiff. But that's what happens when there. you... Yeah, when you move the ball quick. All day, yeah. Myrtleford have wheeled. They've gone. And they've played attacking football. They want the corridor. And they look really, really good. So Riley Sharp has kicked two goals. Line up for the all-important opening goal in this last quarter. To give the Saints a little bit of breathing space. He nails it. They now lead by seven points. 83 to 76. A big... First goal in this last quarter. We played one and a half minutes on the Macca's time clock. You hit it on the head, Panda. They're ball used and just going forward as quickly as they can. It's been the story all day. They've already gone inside forward fifth. They got the centre clearance. Mitch Dale Bosco and Sam Hilton Joyce got their hands on the footy early and they both had big third quarters. So a really positive step in the right direction in the opening minutes, boys. So I'm still, Mont, still just from my vantage point, still can't see Simon Curtis anywhere. No, nah, neither can I, mate. And he's so, in, I can't see him on the bench either, so nah. he might have gone inside, but I'll have a look, mate. Pandy, have a look at those goals kicked. Myrtleford, they've on a bit of a five run. Five of the last six. Yeah, there you go. Five of the last six. Jack Gerrish marks centre wing for Rovers. Kicks a good one. Finds the prime train between half forward and centre wing. Gets a lead from Dylan Wilson. That one's ignored. The prime train now. He's going to use his left, and he swings it nicely. Flying high, Mark Luke, ball over the back, and it is the young fella, Nick Ferguson, who sees it out over the boundary line. Boundary throw in, 25 metres around the Wangaratta Rovers gold. Two and a half minutes gone in the final term for APCO Wangaratta, and it is Myrtleford leading 83-76. to 76. They were 24 points down early in the third term. Here's Blake Pander Escott. Toss back into play. Marklu doing the rocking up against Riley Forrest. He's kicked six, Alex Marklu. Six, four. Ten shots on goal. He's fighting hard at ground level. It was socket off the ground by Martin. <laughs> Almost got someone in the it place you don't want to get hit. the racker in the knacker. Exactly. <laughs> Beautifully called Robbie McKinlay. Over this football, Wales. He kicked two big goals in the third quarter. McCartney just found space and there was none. McNamara slipped a hand pass to Stone. Breaking free oh. is Wilson. Great defensive tackle. One-handed pick up by Capillari. The Saints still deep in defence. Jacobs's kick was half smothered. Capillari had to go back in and tap it to advantage to Bren. Bren overran the footy. Bolch, oh, just no. got him high the prime train. But he sort of ducked, wasn't he? Yeah, free kick here in defence for the Bren in the middle for the Alpine Saints. They lead by seven. Three minutes played. The Macca's time clock in this last quarter for the best service station in the world, Robbie McKinley at Wangaratta. Wales looks at his options, comes in board. The bounce is going to be good for Austin Wicks. It's not. Mopped up by Matt. Oh, he's here. got a free kick. Yeah, tackle just lingered a little bit there against Dylan Wilson. Yeah. He didn't take possession of it. Well, it, was it Wicks? It looks like yep. uh, Austin Powers out there. It is. There he goes. Down the line. Good lead by Winter Irving. Murray says Sammy and Paddy Murray. And the Murray boys see it over the boundary line. will be thrown back in between wing and half forward for the Wangrata Rovers. They trail by seven points, four and a half minutes gone last quarter. Dan Vaccaro, you called it early. What's happened on the 40 winks? Well, Jack Gerrish, boys, he's had a fantastic day. He's up to the 19 touches. He's probably provided the best run out of all of them. And Sam Murray also had the 19 touch respectively as well. Yeah, free kick holding the ball here to the way of the Rovers. The old Ibis, eh? Yeah, he's played very, very well. He's a gem. The Ibis Murray uses the ball well for a big fella. One of the best. Him and Isaac Muller, probably the best kicks. Well, Lockie Howe, we actually got... Pretty good Ruckman with good yeah. kicks, actually. So they play on here, the Rovers. Dylan Stone marks right in the middle of the ground. 20-second touch for Dylan Stone. 
Flicks it by hand to Murray. This is Sam. Left foot penetrating kick to McCarthy. Gets out the back of Levi Young. Runs to 55 metres. Kicks down to the goal square. Prime Free got a push. kick. Free kick, Monty. I reckon Prime got a push. Yeah, he's paid push in the back there, so free kick to Prime. He'll be nearly straight in front of about 20 out, so you'd expect him to kick this one. Good fast movement again by the Wangaratta Rovers. The Prime train. Oh. He's kicked three. Looking for four. Watch the celebration if he kicks this one and brings the margin back to a point. So the Rovers currently trail by seven. He's taking all his time here, the Prime train. Just soaking up a bit of camera, live action. <laughs> We know he loves it, and he bangs through a fourth goal. He loves it, the prime train. His best game in Rovers colours, certainly so far for the year. 12-10, 82, the Rovers. Myrtle for 13-5, 83. That's on the work lock of Wangaratta scoreboard as we tick up towards the six... Minute mark on the Macca's time clock, Scott Montgomery. And Robbie will be a happy man. Simon Curtis is back out on the field, Robbie. So he just might have had to relieve himself something like that, yep. but he's back out there. So he's gone back into the middle of the ground. Prime train, boys. He's definitely had his best game in Rovers colours. He's had the 12 touches and kicked four today. A really fantastic effort. Three inside fifties to Rovers, two Murderfords, two this quarter. Is he a contender? I think the bloke that's had 10 no, shots probably no, just in 11. front of him. 11. 6-5 I can't his kick. count, Monty. Yeah, I dropped Mass on your 11. What if Prime kicks another three this quarter? Oh, well, well, then definitely. Prime. All right. In the middle now. Intercept by Riccardi. Got the ball knocked out of his hand. Ibis, good hands. Out the back to Paddy McNamara. Got to be quick. That was a good smother by Maraca. Falls to Dylan Stone, though. Chased hard by Sammy Martin. Kicks a good one. And they find out there McCartney. Drives it long. Here it boards. This time it's... Marking Mark there, Mark Lou. Tight angle, but as I think we often refer to Mont, sometimes he likes these difficult ones, Alex Mark Lou. Absolutely, you expect him to run around and snap this one, and he does love a celebration, so it might be bigger than uh, Prime Trains from the last one. Here goes Mark Lou, Myrtleford lead by a point. It's ball still in play. They've got numbers here, McCarthy over the ball, tackle by Crisp. And he's, oh, he's pinged him. Oh. I'm not sure what chance Alex McCarthy had to get rid of that footy, but he's been penalised. That was a bit wicked. But anyway, that's life, Panda. you got to move on. Yeah, you get some good ones. You get some bad ones. You had disappointment at, yes, Lake, at Buffalo. Lake Buffalo. You know all about it. Absolutely. All too often. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints run it out of defence. Brody Riccardi, beautiful kick. They're out the back here. Look at him stream forward. Declan Brand has it. Two. Picks it up. Brilliant. Beautiful pick up. Hand pass it back to Riley Booker. Got to get rid of it quickly. Down there. Sharp and Mc McNamara coming through. Riley Sharp. And he snaps. And he goes it. Oh, we have a ball game here on o &M Live. The Saints extend their margin out to seven points. 89 plays 82. That is surge footy, Monty, if I've ever seen it. Yeah, how good was that? As soon as they got it inside 50, they just had numbers get there quicker, didn't they? And Riley Sharp just sat out the back and was able to get a hand in there to tap it down on himself and then snap a goal. The big fellow crumbed it like a little rover. Fantastic to see. And Myrtle just thought they got a bit of a run there, the way they set the ball up from half back. Curtis was involved. Riccardi, they're starting to get their hands on it. The prime movers for Myrtleford Saints. Really, really fantastic finish there by Sharp. And they are looking really ominous here at Myrtleford. They have just been playing inspired football. They've gone inside forward 54 times this quarter, and they're looking good. Four to Riley Sharp. Fourth quarter action for Apco Wangaratta. Here's Simon Curtis again. Won the ball out of the middle. Kicks to half forward. Capillari leads shut in the race to the ball. Well done, though, Cody Shutt. He got it. Kicked it off the ground. They called deliberate. We don't play that rule down here. Well, we did see a couple you didn't. in round one. No. Wodonga versus North Aubrey, we did see Why? a couple of... Oh, I'm not sure. Well, if it's really, really, really deliberate... I still don't think it, it is in this league, but yeah. there is it's some... It's a different. There day. is still deliberate yeah, in the bounds. It's not that insufficient intent rule. It's a bit different. Boundary throw, if you just joined us, Myrtleford lead, them, lead Wang Rovers by seven points. 89 plays, 82. Snap goes inside forward, 50. Riley Sharps kick four. He's hand passed it off to the right foot of Young... I think it was Capillari, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, no? no, it was Young Bedendo. It was, it was Bedendo. Marked on the goal line there by Sam Murray, Whoa. who wants to get around Brand dangerously. Excess defence, Levi Young leapt really high over Joe Allen. Ball still just inside the attacking half here for the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. 
or boundary side, Rob broadcast side, the McNamara Reserve. We've gone nine minutes in this last quarter. All thanks to Apco Wangaratta. Saints lead by seven. And Toby Murray got it out of the ruck, got it to follow up. Handball quickly to Dylan Wilson. Wilson's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Right over the border mail, Mark Chester's head. And uh, what a game of footy. What a quarter. Merleford lead 89 to 82. Ten minutes gone. Apco Wangaratta, and that's on the work locker. Pressure around the ball is really making some poor decisions for the Wangaratta Rovers at the moment. Alex Jacobs under pressure. Oh, hand pass it to Ferguson who just left it behind. He's got a bit of time though through Horrigan. Capillari just torpedo. Punts it. It might land for Childersley here to Martin. Too far out to score. He'll swing around on the left. He'll look for Declan Brand. But bravery. A Mawson's concrete play of the day from Tom Boyd. Yeah. Back in the hole. Intercepting. He's down on the ground and hurting. But wow, what a great intercept defensive mark that was from Tom Boyd. Guts. Yeah, gutsy. 89 plays, 82 as the Rovers exit defence on the far side. Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Yeah, yep. Absolutely Sorry, right. Mate. Garish has just had his 20th touch there, boys. He got it. Handballs now to Williamson. Williamson on centre wing. Goes wide. And they find a player in Osborne. So Osborne between wing and half forward. Rovers trail by seven points. Osborne kicks long from behind. Mark Luke, ball over the back. It's going to be a race here. Boundary line might beat the whole lot of them. It does. 20 metres around from the Wangaratta Rovers gold. 11 and a half minutes gone, final quarter. 14 5 89 Myrtleford. Wangaratta 12 10 82. So we have a genuine ball game here in the. Freenies ONM Live. I hope you're loving the action for the Old Town and Country Tavern. Ashton McPherson kicks long down the wing, gains as much territory as he can for the Saints. Out of bounds on the full. It's going to come straight back. A free kick here to the Rovers. Dan Vaccaro for 40 winks. Sam Murray, he's got a knack of getting touches in the last quarter, boys. He's already had the five touches this quarter. 23 for the game, so he's got a weird stand of victory here. Paddy Murray, nice kick to Boyd. Boyd goes across the ground. They're going to open it up here. Williamson, Mark, that kick's floating. It's floating. Capillari, closing speed, excellent. Shut, shut down. That makes sense on centre wing. Cody shut now, just chips it short. There's Alex McCarthy. Loves the last quarter goal, Big Mac. He's well, he's going to need it today. He goes long. Mark Lou lurks. Mark Lou might have got a push. Play on to call. You hear, listen for that whistle sometimes, mm -hmm. don't you? Seven points. We're almost halfway through the final quarter. Upset brewing, Panda. Upset brewing indeed. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints haven't won a game yet. The Rovers are undefeated. Garish, oh. left foot kick, weaving and going! What a finish from Jack Garish. He is an absolute out and out star in the SSNA oven Zamuri. A steel line goal day, something from nothing, and the Rovers are back. 88 plays, 89, Saints lead. We have a ball game, Monty. Yeah, how good was that? Just well crumbed, got it. And I don't think it spun once that footy. It was like an inside-out <laughs> torpedo that just floated through the air, but had enough on it. Jackie Gerrish hasn't been great today and just continuing that in this last quarter. You're spot on there, Monty. He's had 21 touches for the game. He's been one of the best. His running game is fantastic. And how good was that finish, Robbie? Well, that's him, in it? That's Jack Gerrish. He, he's got that ability to do that freakish thing, and that's exactly what he's done. 89 to 88, Myrtleford lead. Murray goes high again, got the tap though, picked up by Del Bosco, he read it beautifully, had one bounce, drove it long, who's on offer here, might have been a push, ball comes to ground, here's a chance, through traffic, Hilton Joyce, you're gone, advantage played, Miras Lanaz got it, got it to Philo, Philo looked to move it quick, he told the play on, does play on, the kick, looking now for the prime train, is it, gathered, round throw, oh he's gone, Prawns in all sorts of bother. Free kick goes away at Myrtleford. The hooligan got him. Hooligan, half back. Myrtleford lead by point. 14 minutes gone, final quarter for Apco Wangaratta. We got a beauty here on RM Live. Hope you're loving the action on the Old Man Optus TV on 15 double six three and eight. Or on the FM 90.1 FM here in Myrtleford. The country's best football league coming alive here at the McDamara Reserve. Ooh. Wales goes short to Winter Irving. Still right on centre wing, broadcast side. Played pretty well today, the boy from Seymour. Kicks to half forward, it's a one versus two. Wasn't a great kick, asked a lot here of McCarroll. Sam Murray played on. Got to go back. He's got to go back behind your mark, Sam. He took an intercept mark. 
Good umpiring. 89 place, 88. It's a one point ball game. 14 minutes gone in the Macca's time clock. Here's a Robbie McKinlay. And he kicks to Paddy. Oh, oh, he couldn't hold on to the mark. We oh, that was everywhere. Intercepted. Numbers back, sharp over the top, ball comes to ground. Lanaz leads the charge. Handball, well, was a bit of hit and hope there. Williamson did well. Got through traffic, got a handball to McCartney. Inside handball back to Dylan Stone. A little underground pass. Back to Will McCarthy. Back to Dylan Stone. Back to Will McCarthy. Under pressure. Kick. kick. McCartney hangs on, holds on between half back and centre wing. Merleford lead Rovers by point. 15 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter action. That's on the work block at Wang scoreboard. Apco Wangaratta were doing this last quarter four as McCartney goes down the line. Prime trains there first, takes a diving mark. He's got a 101 forward. It's Mark Lewin Wicks. Wicks gets a fist in there. Falls to ground. Jack Gerrish oh, coming. Oh! Speed. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another. We've got a whistle here, Monty, for Waters. Yeah, played a bit high, I think, against us. Yeah. Simon Curtis there. Just slipped above as he hit the hit Jackie Gerrish. So he plays on straight away. Kicks to Ibis! Toby Murray in the goal square takes a Mawson's concrete mark of the day. And he will line up to put the Rovers back in front. Brilliant. How good was that? Just a quick, great kick there by Gerrish. Just yeah. get it to the top of the goal square. We've got the big Ruckman standing there who does take a good grab. And he did this again against Lavington. Yep. He took some big grabs in the last quarter. He's just got to go back and finish his work now. To put the Rovers in front on a genuinely topsy-turvy game here at the McNamara Reserve. Gerrish kicked the last one. And Toby Murray makes the umpire oh, yeah, work. Missed it. And he has missed. Whoa from 15 metres out directly in front. Extraordinary. Scores but are level. Scores are level. 89 plays 89. 16 minutes gone in this last quarter for Apco Wangaratta. That's on the work locker Wangaratta scoreboard. That could be costly, Monty. Yeah, was he ready to celebrate as soon as it hit the boot, you reckon, boys? I think he might have been thinking about the celebration more so than the kick. Good grab by Curtis from the kick in, and he spots up an offering, which is Declan Bren. Capillari, one out here with Sam Murray. They go short to Maraca. Get it moving. They do that right now. The kick is okay. Sharpie, he gets a good bounce. He doesn't get it. Sam Murray read it beautifully. Gavin, he'll come across the ground now to Will McCarthy. Get on your bike, young fella. He's got acres to run into. Has one bounce. Decides he'll go short with a bit of a wayward one. He kicked it to his brother, Alex. And he goes short, and he finds Dylan Stone. Scores a level if you've just joined us. Stay with us. 89 apiece. Absolute beauty here on RM Optus TV and RM Live as the Rovers hand pass it down the broadcast wing. Beautiful left foot kick from McCarthy. Crunch. Mark Lou couldn't mark. Wicks is wearing him like a glove. Mark Lou gets up. 55 metres oh. from goal. Beautiful kick in board to Toby Murray, who will line up 40 <laughs> metres out on a slight angle and a chance to make amends from missing just before 15 metres out directly in front, Monty. He's just <laughs> running extraordinaire there. Will McCarthy just kept going and going and got three or four touches in that chain. And Toby Murray took off from centre-half back and just pushed forward. Was able to burn off the murder for Ruckman and just go bang. And the kick from Mark Lumont. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't he? He's had some sort of day, hasn't he, Alex? 89 apiece. Scores are level. We've played 18 minutes. This to send the Rovers in front by a goal. Toby Murray makes no mistake. Oh! And he's absolutely cleaned up. Del, is it Del Bosco? Yeah, Go he'll give away a free kick at the He has. Now. He has cleaned up Del Bosco, but it's a steel line goal today. <laughs> the Rovers 14-11. <laughs> Myrtleford 14-5. The Rovers are in front by six points. 19 minutes played on the Macca's time clock in this last quarter. Well, he got a bit excited. He was a bit emotional, Toby. Oh, uh, no one missed Del Bosco. There were a few words yeah, said, I would have thought. Yeah, was, wasn't there? That's yeah. right. And anyway... Simon uh, Curtis, not the bloke you don't want to give a free kick to in the middle of the ground, is it? No, not really. So that's... He got the gold out, Ibis. He recovered beautifully. He sunk a, a six-footer. Curtis goes long, the ball, oh, let, was that Mirrors? No, it wasn't, it was Tommy Boyd, was it? Oh, McCarthy. McCarthy. McCarthy takes a good grab, last line of the fence, and he goes wide, and he finds Wilson. Oh, sorry, Smith. Smith goes short, and he'll find Will McCarthy. Gee, he's had a big last quarter, Panda. Seen a fair bit of the footy. He has, young Will McCarthy, only made his debut last week. So the ball out on the far side, just in front of the scoreboard. They're under a lot of pressure here, the Rovers. 
good forward heat and it's spilled over the line for a boundary throw and 65 around from the Saints goal. They trail 89 to 95. The Rovers lead. Dan Vaccaro, what do you got for us for 40 weeks? Dylan Stone's had a huge last quarter, boys. He's had six touches already. He's up to 27 for the game, so a massive outing by him today on the 40 weeks stat sheet. Almost 20 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Wenger the Rovers lead by six points. Myrtleford in attack. Curtis Helbeth out the footy. We'll play on the call. Curtis still running. Can he keep it in? He does. No. So the boundary no. umpire, which is probably going to suit Myrtleford, there'll be a boundary throw in. They'll reset it 30 metres around from their behind post. 20 minutes gone. Wangrata Rovers lead on the work locker scoreboard by six points. We're doing this last quarter. Thrapco Wangarata, the best service station in the world. As it's tossed back into play. Rising high, the big Ibis Murray. Falls the way of Maraca, hand pass it to Martin who just left it behind. Ball still inside 50 here for the Saints. Breaking a couple of tackles, Del Bosco, but then he was pinged holding the ball. A good tackle by Gerrish as the Rovers play on and take the advantage. Interesting, Dylan Stone almost got mowed down there by Capillari. Stone's king, kick up to the wing, finds touch and a boundary throw in. Centre wing, far side of the McNamara reserve. The Rovers 95. The Saints 89, 21 minutes played in the Macca's time clock in this last quarter. Both teams have just got to be a bit smarter here. Obviously, they're playing on with advantage. They've got time. You can take some minutes off the clock if they're smart here. Pandy, you'd suggest this quarter, the moment might go 26, 27 yep. minutes, perhaps. Here we go. Now, there might be a throw. Just got caught. Now they'll get a free kick here, Myrtle. So just on the backside of the on the fence for them. It's Capillari. He comes to the middle of the ground. Oh, Levi Young got a shot. Oh, oh, well done. Party trick. Okay, anytime you like. Now they'll tack down through centre half forward. Sam Murray read it best. Got a cruel bounce. Handball. Back. High kick. Up and under. Sitting under it. Shut. Bren Gunn's there. It goes through for a point, oh. which could be critical. A behind to Myrtleford. They are 90. Wangaroo Rovers are 95. Almost 22 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. Panda, we've got a cracker on here. We've got we a, do. an injury here to Declan yeah. Brand. Monty, what's yeah, your spot I think there, he mate? He might have rolled an ankle just when he can get wide with Cody shut. And so they're just waiting until he gets out of the space before they let the game go on here. Sam Murray, seven touches. Jack Gary, six touches. And Dylan Stone, seven touches this quarter. So big names stepping up, Robbie. Hello to the 350 people tuning in via the live stream. We've got a beauty here on 3 and E's AM Live. 22 minutes played on the Macca's time clock. Ooh. Oh, it's not a great kick from shut out of defence. It's going to come back and give the Saints a chance here. Myrtleford 90, the Rovers 95. And Brody Riccardi is 80 metres from goal. He plays on, pumps it to the hot spot, coming late, Winter Irving going in and floating and taking a wonderful defensive mark is Sam Murray. A goal-saving mark there by Murray, who plays on and just chips it short to McCartney. The Rovers 95, the Saints 90, here on OM Live, 22 minutes gone. McCartney handballs back to Sammy Murray. And it's a beautiful kick. It finds Mark Lou, who's come up the ground. He's marked between wing and half back. Rovers lead by five points. 23 minutes gone on the Macca's time clock. We reckon about three minutes to go. Mark Lou, he'll hug it towards the boundary. Ibis is the target. Ball fisted away, comes to Capillari for Myrtleford. Kick. Kicks okay, found Maraca. Inside handball to Curtis. He goes for a mongrel old kick. Bren Gunn, Linares, ball bounces. Sam Murray's there, so's Bren. Linares comes in, they'll Don't close it. it down. They'll close it oh. down. Umpire says, give it to me. It'll be a ball up 12 metres out from the Myrtleford goal. They trail by five points, about two and a half minutes left. Toss back up. Sharp does the ruck work against Boyd. There's a free kick, oh. a blocking free kick, Monty. Yeah, just stood. I don't know about that one, but yeah, just wasn't able to run and jump out of there, Tom Boyd, to get the free kick. So Tom Boyd for the Rovers. Kicks to the far pocket, still in their own defence, doing a lot of defending here, the Rovers. McCarthy's kick was punched over the boundary line, and the Saints have a chance to reset again. Boundary throw in, 65 around from their goal, far side, they trail by nine points. We've played 24 minutes on the Macca's time clock, the Rovers by five. Just Quick. quickly on the 40 wing stat sheet, boys, Sam Murray, 10 touches this quarter has been enormous. He has been. Yeah, one big grab not that long ago. Now, free kick. We're not sure which way it's going to go. both ways there. Umpire's running one way, and he's, he's going to go the way of the Ibis. He might be in votes today. Yep. He geeks backwards to his brother. 
and his coach, Sam Murray. 24 and a half minutes gone. Wangaratta Rovers lead by five. Myrtleford have got it in their forward area. Sam Murray kicks it out towards centre wing. The Ivers got knocked over. He'll get a free kick. Yep. He does. It was way too early, Panda. And it'll be the Ivers Murray who takes it at centre wing. Rovers lead by five points. Maybe two minutes left. Another wonderful instalment of football between these two sides. They love a close one, the Saints and the Rovers. And Murray goes back to his brother. So they're just trying to take a bit of time off the clock here, the Rovers. 25 minutes gone on the Maccas time clock. 95 plays 90, the Rovers lead. They're still in their own defensive half. They kick long down the wing. Flying high was Murray. And they got another stoppage. A boundary throw in on true centre wing, Dan Vaccaro, for 40 wings. Really smart play by Rovers. If they can take 30, 40 seconds off the clock now, really important. And the inside 50s, 9 to 14 in favour of Myrtleford. Second quarter, we had six goals kicked and it went for exactly 25 minutes. That's what we've had kicked this quarter. And we've gone 25 and a half. Here go Myrtleford. Last roll of the dice. Through the middle. Great kick there by half forward. Here's a chance for Bren to win the game. Declan Bren kicks a goal. Would you believe it? Declan Bren, ball over the back. He ran onto it. He kicks, puts him in front by a point. Bren has two. The kick from Sammy Martin was a beauty, Monty. Myrtleford, 96. Wangaratta Rovers, 95. 26 minutes gone. You've got to question the tactics a little bit of the way they're trying to kill the clock by giving so much territory back to Myrtleford. Makes it so much easier to defend, and they're able to get that stoppage on the far side when Toby Murray had that first free kick in nearly the same position. So you've got to question those tactics, but how good have Myrtleford been? They've been able to just keep coming and keep coming. And they haven't given up at all, but this game's not over yet, boys. I feel another twist coming. Oh, wow. What a moment. In the Myrtleford Alpine Saints young career, and they've won a free kick for holding the ball in the middle of the ground. Declan Bren with a steel line goal today, something from nothing. 96 plays 95. They kick long into attack again, the Myrtleford Alpine Saints. Now they just have to hold on. Jack Girish wins it a half back for the Rovers. Hand passes it to Dylan Stone. He's taken two bounces. He's taken three bounces as he streams down the wing. Flicks a hand pass over the top looking for Osborne. Running on here, McCarthy. He's going to win a free Push. kick for in the back against Maraca. And the Rovers are going to have a chance to go in attack once again. 96 plays 95. The Saints lead by a point. He's in a bit of trouble here. He's in trouble here, I reckon, Monty. Yeah, just so the way he landed. Off. I reckon he might have landed on the head into the ground at the same same time so nothing in it but yeah just just a bit uh unfortunate really well we're gonna have a long stoppage yeah. in this game stretch is coming out Jeez, yep murder have got to get the runner out and just get everyone behind everyone may end up getting numbers behind the footy well, don't they? we believe there's seven seconds left wow. in the game seven seconds well we're gonna have a, a quite it's a long stoppage here because young will mccarthy is still on the ground the trainers are running out there which we hate to see there's a free kick to Rovers, Panda. So to set the scene at home, the, they'll have the free kick about 70 metres out. The cock will start as soon as the ball is kicked. So they've got to get it deep and hope for a one-grab mark. Yep. And that's their, that's their scenario. Or somehow get it through for a point. They've got seven seconds to score. Myrtleford, this is I've extraordinary. Got this is extraordinary. We do hope that young Will McCarthy is, is all right, by the way. There's a lot of play, a lot of trainers around him at the moment. And we're going to have quite a long stoppage in this game, you would expect. And there's seven seconds left. A lot of text messages coming in from people. How long's left? Yeah, seven seconds. Seven but seconds, we believe, left in this game. They've just thrown a, a, a blanket from over the fence. So someone's thrown a blanket over just to, just to uh, put him over the young Will. We, uh, he must be... He must be in a fair bit of strife here. Yeah, so thoughts with young Will McCarthy out there. So you would think by now that the Myrtleford runner would have gone out and said there is seven seconds to play. Would you have you got to, Will McCarroll at the moment is off the ground. Monty, when you get him on the ground, take a small player off and Will McCarroll, a tall fella. Put him on the goal line? Absolutely. 
You'd sit him in where, the, where yeah. you think the ball's going to go next. Yeah, you've got the right matchups. You don't want to put him on someone quicker who might get a, a way on a lead or something, yeah. be able to hit a lead or something. So There's going to be that many players back yeah. there, though, you I'll tell you think. what, if there's not 36 players back there, there's something going yeah. on, isn't there? I reckon everyone's got to be down there and just hope for a, a lucky mark or something like that for the Rovers. So the, the good news is here, guys, and, and viewers at home and listeners, is Will McCarthy has risen to his feet yeah, it's out great there news. on that far side. So if you're just joining us... There's a stoppage in the game here at the McNamara Reserve it's between the Rovers and the Saints. McCarthy, young Will McCarthy, was about to kick the Rovers long into attack. He was tackled from behind. He won a free kick Got for a free push kick. in the back, yeah. but there was nothing more to it. He came down reasonably hard, but it was a chase down tackle from behind, and he's been down on the ground, and we have a stoppage here in play. But more, well, you know, more importantly, the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, 15-6-96, lead the Wangaratta Rovers, 14-11-95. They lead by one point, and we believe there is seven seconds left in this last quarter. And I reckon what Wang Rovers have done well here, Brody Philo, I reckon, will be the one will take the kick here, Mont. He would be probably their longest kick. Yeah. So that's not always a good thing in this time because that's obviously going to have more hang time <laughs> with only seven seconds left, Robbie. Yeah, I reckon seven little. seconds over a kick. I reckon it'll take for as soon as that ball blows the whistle. He's got to be ready to kick it. Doesn't he's got to be ready to yeah. kick it, mate. You can't, yeah. can't waste two or three seconds looking for something and so then taking your run up or whatever. It's probably seventy-five meters out. That's where the ball will be when whoever kicks it. It won't be Will McCarthy. It could suggest Panda the way he was tackled and forced into the ground. It could be like a rib. But like or something like that, it might, perhaps or a, you know, badly winded. But the good news is it's 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 not a leg because he's up on his feet. What Either way, no, oh, yeah. I can't really see because there's so many trainers around him. But he looks to be in a lot of strife. But the good thing is, is he has risen to his feet. If you're just joining us, the Rovers led by 24 points at one stage in the third quarter, and. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints the then kick. Yeah, boys, they so have. They can get on with the game. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints then kick five, the next six goals, and it has been pretty much goal for goal, topsy turvy in this last quarter. Declan Bren just what? kicked a goal very recently to put the Myrtleford Alpine Saints in front by one point. Ninety-six plays, ninety-five, and it looks like Philo will have the ball. Philo is going to have the he, ball. He, he can kick. He'll he can get it within 20 metres out. And have a look at him lined up in that gold square. I think umpires are just telling him they've got to get him over the fence, and boys, because he's um, still obviously classed as Yeah, that's a good point. So You're not allowed to start until he's actually over so the fence. So they've nearly got to just bring him over, don't they? And, and Mont, what, what Myrtle we've got to be careful of here is that none of their players give away a free yep, kick by absolutely. blocking or checking. Yep. That's yeah, Sammy Murray's floated forward, so he'll be trying to get up on someone's shoulders. I'm guessing that's what the play will be. Try to kick it to Sammy. Hopefully he can take so they So they got young Will McCarthy in a, in a chair at the moment over there, so they're going to have to get him on the other side of the fence somehow with a duty of care, of course. You, you think common sense would prevail here and say he's in a safe position where he is now. He's got a heap of yeah, trainers you'd, around you'd, him. You'd think so. He doesn't have to get over the fence. He probably can't get over at the moment. It'd well, be a liability thing, I think, Robbie. Like, yeah. Otherwise, would be instructed this yeah. sort of thing, I'd imagine. So yep. you got to do everything by the book, I guess, these days, Robert. Yeah, that's right, Mont. Yeah. So goals in this last quarter. Sharp kicked the first. Prime try and then kicked the next. Sharp kicked his second goal to put the Saints seven points in front. Gerrish and Murray. Toby Murray kicked the next two to put the Rovers in front by five. And Declan Bren kicked a goal only a couple of minutes ago to put the Saints in front by one point. 96 plays 95. And hello to the audience as well who have just joined us on 2AY. The beauty of the calls, Robbie, as you yeah. can plonk games on whatever you like. And just one look, Monty, this is a real one from out left field. Brody Philo, is he a chance of nailing a ball? Oh, oh, do, you know, hey, no, do you know what I reckon he's a chance of? He's taking the guy on the mark and having the shot from 65. So he would play on? Oh, that's... So yeah. let's let's see how many people around that mark. He, Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a really good... Option. Even if you can just find, if Murderford boys are distracted, even if you can find a hit-up kick just around that 50-55 dark go for the siren as well. So Sam Murray, the coach, has actually gone over to speak to the trainers here. Yeah. And I reckon Sam Murray is explaining to the trainers that we, we just, we're not going to allow it to start here until I, I, I think McCarthy I, is completely off the ground. I reckon he's doing a, like a bit of duty of care there too. Yep. As a coach, he's going over to see his young fellow. He's, he's only just playing. I'm maybe second game, and I think he's just checking on his welfare because that, that's the that's the main thing at the moment. Absolutely, and that's all, all we're really worried about. It's yeah. only a game of footy at the end of the day, isn't it? We've been entertained already as it is, and 
Yeah, this is, um, yeah, if you've just joined us, that's the scenario, so. Yeah, and Sammy's just told his boys to get together again, so obviously there's gonna be a bit more of a delay yeah. here, boys. Yeah, so Will McCarthy got a free kick from a push in the back as he was advancing with the footy. He's been injured. The game has been held up. And we're not, and we're not sure what the injury yeah, is we're not, at the moment, no. Robbie. It must be, oh, I think it must be head-related. Head head. I, yeah. I, it must be head-related if, yep. if there's this much concern around him, which there is. But we know there's seven seconds left in the game. If you listen on the radio, the ball is in the netball pocket, forward flank pocket. And McCarthy obviously can't take his kick. Brody Filo will take the kick. And there's seven seconds from the moment the umpire calls play on. So Brody Philo has got to either mont, kick it real long and hope someone takes a mark or gets knocked through for a point to level the scores. Or he plays on, tries to get around his opponent on the mark and tries to kick it from around about 55. That's about the scenario I reckon might play out. So to our, to our new audience, who I believe have just joined us as well on, on 1494 2A White, Declan Bren just kicked a goal for the Myrtle Fidel Pine Saints to put him in front by one point. And since then, the Rovers were coming forward. Will McCarthy was tackled from behind by Josh Maraca, and he's come down pretty hard, and he's been stretched off the ground, and now he's sitting on the other side of the ground, still inside the playing field here. And there's a stoppage in the game. There's, the stoppage has been now for every part of sort of seven or eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. We've been stopped for. And the Myrtle Fidel Pine Saints lead by one point, 96 to 95. And we believe, through our investigative give work, Robbie McKinlay, that there is seven seconds left in this yeah, game. Yeah, it's extraordinary. Extraordinary it? finish. Yeah, and the, the best result will be a, a clean bill of health for Will McCarthy. And he's in great hands. There's six trainers around him at the moment. I know... Um, Ernie Tallarico is one of them, a very experienced trainer and um, person in the medical game. So, Panda, what do you got? What are we around the ground, mate? Yeah, around happen? the grounds, just while we, we wait for the situation to get relieved here with Will McCarthy. Uh, the Wangaratta Magpies have blown the game open against North Albury, 18-18, 126 over North Albury, 8-8-56. And the Yarrawonga Pigeons, 17-27. <laughs> wow, that is 44 scoring shots. Uh, Yarrawonga 129 to the Raiders 46 so still a quite a long stoppage here at the McNamara Reserve both teams are now broken away into their own huddles as well Big Mac and Sam Murray is actually broken away from his huddle and he's he's walking over towards the bench so um, I think the, the, the thing that we can't afford to underestimate is, you know, just the situation with Will McCarthy, how, yep. how he's tracking at the moment. Um, it's been a long delay, and, yeah, we, we're just trying to update as much information as you can. He was able to be helped off the ground, wasn't stretched off, so it suggests it's from the body up, maybe... Maybe neck related or or, or head related or something yeah, you like just don't that. Know, yeah, do we you? don't know. Yeah. Well, it's just getting a little bit word too. With you, one of the Myrtle players may have been sent off for this um, action. Yeah, so right. that's a word getting back. There's five players on the bench at the moment, but well, we'll Craig, find that out. Craig Miller and Sam Murray are just about to come together here, which you very very rarely see in the SSNA ovens of Murray. And we hope our cameraman Dan, uh, Dougie's capturing. Some of the boundary line words here at the moment as well. I guess it'll be. Is there a point? Is if the game is held up for X, are they possibly it's waiting half for an, an ambulance? I think it is, Robbie. Yeah, and probably waiting for an ambulance, Mont. Yep, and the result will stand as yeah. is at the moment. Yeah, because it's gone after half time. Once the game restarts in the second half, mm. whoever's in front. And it, it, it may be um, common sense to not resume the game given that there's still concerns about Will McCarthy at the moment. So, and it, to be fair, right about now, it, it, there's a lot of sort of steam gone out of that game. It was building into that finish. So, it's like that's Ernie Tallarico, the trainer from Wang Rovers coming over. A few of the trainers are talking to the Wangaratta Rovers boys. Yeah, Alex McCarthy as well, you feel for him. Oh, he's got his brother. He's got his brother in, yeah. a, in a really awful position over there and he would no doubt be feeling for him. Yeah. They're probably they're probably looking at a ruling from the league what actually happens in this situation from here. So we reckon it's gone about 12 minutes now. The goal by Bren was kicked at the 26-minute mark. Yep. It was probably 
this it was into the 27 minute mark I suppose so yeah probably about 12 minutes Dan Vaccaro, have you got some uh, some 40 wink stats for us as well in in this last quarter as to why there's only a one point margin, 96 to, to 95, the Saints lead the Rovers at the moment? You're spot on, Panda. It was an unbelievable game. And it was um, 16 inside 50s, Murderford to 10. So what a comeback by Murderford. They were just fantastic that quarter. Uh, Simon Curtis was probably the big reason why they got back into that game. He had six touches, and we know when Simon Curtis has six touches, there's six unbelievable kicks as well. So Sammy Martin's had three this quarter. Mitch Del Bosco has been good with five. Sam Murray, the, the coach, he's showing a fair bit of class at the moment but he was fantastic uh, late in that quarter as well. He had 12 touches and, and 31 for the game. So um, a really good spread of players all around. And Dylan Stone also had 10 touches to finish off with 31 for the game as well. Lee Williams kicked six goals, eight over at Beer Elite. Did big Lee Williams, so he could have had a real bag. So if you're just joining us here on 3 and E's A&M Live or on 2AY as well, so we've been going for 13 yep. minutes now. So injury was at the 27 minute mark, 40 minutes now. So big thanks to Gun Cloud, who would have went back and found that on the RM Optus TV. So we've had a 13 minute stoppage. Young Will McCarthy has been injured. Yeah, Mont, as Mont you alluded to before, Myrtleford have got five players on the interchange area now. So that would, the only thing that would suggest that there has been a player. Sent, sent off. off. Hey boys, yeah. So I just spoke to Sammy Murray. So he's still unconscious over there. Oh. Uh, Will McCarthy. So that's what the hold up has been. And Sam said that he's told the umpires he's happy to call the game. Yeah. Uh, but they said no. We've got to wait. The that's the regulation. They've got to wait for that certain amount of time. Um, still a bit of time to go in that. So he's happy to call the game off. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, they're just worried about Will's uh, welfare at the moment. Yeah. All righty. So that's unbelievably good sportsmanship there from yep. from Sam Murray, who's got us. A duty of care. Break, we're ready to go. He's got a duty of care for young Will McCarthy, who has un has unfortunately been unconscious in a contest out there on the far side. As the Rovers were just about to go into attack, they trail by one point. So you'd probably assume that maybe the, the Myrtleford mm. Alpine Saints might get over the line here, Robbie, as as, as Monty just suggested with the ruling. So there's been a stoppage in the game. It's now up towards 14 minutes. And as we just heard from Monty, half an hour means that the result will stand. And the Myrtleford Alpine Saints might win by a point here. So we might we might take a break right now, I reckon, I reckon, guys. And we'll we'll keep everybody updated with what's going on after this. We're gonna take a break here on 3 and E's R M Live. Stay with us. We'll do our best to get all the information we can and bring it to you at home. The Murdoch Alpine Saints 96, the Rovers 95 here on AM Live. A stoppage in the game with young Will McCarthy injured. Stay around. We'll bring you all the action and the updates live from the McNamara Reserve right after this. And on AM Live, you won't miss a thing. You clear. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Good work. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support.
Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor. Able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. 3 and 8 and on m Optus TV as well between the Myrtleford Alpine Saints and the Wangaratta Rovers. If you are just joining us, the Myrtleford Alpine Saints currently lead this game by one point. The last quarter has gone for 47 minutes. We have a stoppage in the game. Uh, young Will McCarthy has been injured. We believe he is uh, concussed at the moment. He's still in the field of play. He's not on the ground, but he's still in the field of play, which is why we have a stoppage. We believe an ambulance has been called. Yep. The, the Saints are in front by one point, 96 to 95, and there's seven seconds left in this game. So extraordinary finish. We're, our thoughts are, are, are with young Will McCarthy. He's only in his second O&M game as well, and he's, his brother's out there also playing. And at the moment, what will happen is if this game stops for half an hour, and we're currently uh, up towards the 20-minute mark of a stoppage, so so if it, if it stopped for another 10 minutes, yeah. this result's going to stand, Robbie, and yeah. the Saints are going to win the game. That's right. And I mean, Mont, uh, Mont has just been talking to um, Sam Murray, and Mont's just going to just he might be with us now. Mont, yep. anything else you can add to that? No, nah, just the same. He, it, Will is responsive, but he's um, talking and responding. That he's a little bit worried about his neck now. He felt a bit of a pain in his neck after they moved him. Yep. Um, so that's sort of what they're worried about and why they're going to wait for an ambulance. Um, as I said, Sam Murray's happy to call the game. He's still set to the umpires then. I'm very happy to call this off right now. Um, but the umpire said, no, they've got to wait that uh, a lot of time, which I think is 30 or 35 minutes. So we've still got about eight. Eight or nine minutes, I think Sam just mm. said then, to wait. So, yep. yeah, once that time's allotted, I feel like, yeah, this game probably won't get back on the way, boys. Well, there you have it. So, if you have just joined us, it, it's been one of the great games we've seen for a number of years. Certainly the game of the season. Uh, Myrtleford, it's been a shootout in the second half. The halftime score, Rovers 6 7 43, Myrtleford 5 3 33. Third quarter was extraordinary. I think 12 goals kicked. Myrtleford got back in front by a point, and that's where they sit now. Uh, one stage, Myrtleford were down by 24 points early in the second quarter. Sorry, early in the third quarter. And Declan Brennan kicked a goal, I w maybe with probably at 30 seconds to go, thereabouts. Rovers got the ball in it. Myrtleford got the ball out of the middle of the ground from the restart. The ball sort of went wide. Then Dylan Stone got the footy. They took the ball forward. A free kick went to Will McCarthy for a, a push in the back. 
That was a free kick to the ball. And still sitting there, the football is sitting 70 metres from goal. And we know there's seven seconds left on the clock. If I was a murder player, I'd just go kick that ball a little bit further just away, just wouldn't move I? move it a bit further. Yeah, just another <laughs> 10 metres, 15 metres. Just to get um, and, and, so, and Will McCarthy at the moment is... is Surrounded by trainers, yeah. umbrellas, blankets, so... On the netball. So, so if you walk from the club rooms at Myrtleford straight across the ground towards the netball, That's there's an old is. scoreboard. That is exactly where he is. And the electronic scoreboard is showing Myrtleford 15-6-96, Wangaratta Rovers 14-11-95. And last quarter has ticked over to 50 minutes right now. I've never been a part of a, of a, of a game where it's stopped before, Robbie, or yeah, anything we, like that as well. To this length, no. We, no. We, had the, um, we did the o &M Live. We did the game when the, one of the saddest things I've seen in sport was James McQuillan um, had that bat, terrible Terrific injury. Terrific injury, yep. Yeah, right in front of the club rooms at the Albury Sports Ground. And that, was, um, that was before halftime. I'm just trying to remember. I think it was in the second quarter. And, it, yeah, it was very eerie. Um, so, yeah, and, and this is where we're at now, but as... As Monty did say there before, he said that he'd spoken to Sam Murray and he was responsive. Yeah, Will responsive. McCarthy. Yep, we answered questions. Sam asked him and was quite responsive. Knew what was going on around him. Just a yeah. um, bit of a pain in the neck. So yep. obviously, when a tackle like that happens and you get a bit of concussion and there's a bit of a pain there, you've yep. got to obviously do everything right and uh, take all the precautions. So yeah, that's about, the word. I reckon there's it? about five or six minutes left. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, um, yep. But I feel like by the time the ambulance gets here, they're going to have to do assessments on it. I don't see he's getting underway again. No, I no. don't. I don't. So, as I've said, thoughts with Will McCarthy, but looks like he is responsive, which is which is good. And uh, we hope that his recovery is fast and he's able to get back out there and, and play footy and everything is all right. And, uh, well, it looks like the Myrtleford Alpine Saints guys are going to yeah. record their first win. Not, certainly not how they yeah. would have liked to have, have won the game, but you're going to take it anyway. And... Uh, 96 to 95, they showed some some real spirit, didn't they? Oh, big Mac. I mean, to, brilliant. It's such a topsy, uh, such a topsy turvy game. A big, uh, 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 you know, back and forth, and um, they're going to record their first win by the looks of things, Monty. Yeah, absolutely, and especially after they got called done five minutes into the third quarter, it's a massive effort. I would have thought. Well, hey, that's man. I'd love it if if Hobbsy and Campbell maybe back in the <laughs> studio. I'm asking a lot here. Can can go can back and back just and find, find where Dan Vaccaro said this well, game's going to blow open. Give me a sec. The four minute mark. I reckon it was when Prime Train kicked that goal and they went 24 points ahead. <laughs> yep. That was at the four minute mark of the Going third to quarter. blow open. <laughs> so that would be. I said it could. Approximately well, three o'clock. Well, I don't know if you'd get that from Brad Sprinkles three. Freak. I don't know whether you'd get that from Brad Freak. Well, no, Freaky did say fence, he'd be on the front <laughs> fence, Brad Freak. Freaky did call 180 Heaven points in the uh, and, uh, Raiders game. I reckon about 25 past three would be the time. Hobbsy, <laughs> if you were just doing a scour around about that time, you might something might bob up. We'll go back and have a bit of a listen because I'd love to get the audio up and, and just show how much of a poor call that was from our man Dan Vaccaro. So if you've just tuned in around the region on three and eight, and I think our O&M Optus TV is probably still rolling as well with Dougie Greshke, and there was a lot of viewers at one stage. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints, 15-6-96, are going to record, we think, an unbelievable victory over the Wangaratta Rovers in sour circumstances in the end. One point win, uh, as young Will McCarthy is currently off the ground. He's still in the field of play. He was knocked out and concussed. He's now responsive, but he's had a little bit of pain in his neck, and an ambulance has been called for young Will, and our thoughts are with him. Hopefully and he has a nice, fast recovery, and we believe if the stoppage goes for another three or four minutes that the Alpine Saints will win by a point, and the game will stand as is. Robbie McKinlay. Yeah, I just noticed Alex McCarthy, Will's brother, was talking to Sam Murray, and now you've got, you've got Sam Murray, uh, Ross Hill, and Ali Murray, the trainer, are heading over that way now. I reckon Sam looks like he's heading towards Myrtle, and I reckon there'll be a shake of the hands pretty soon. Yep. Still chasing the audio boards. And, and that'll be it. So, oh, what a game, though. And we've just seen Mitchie Del Bosco, the captain of Myrtleford, is they're making their way yeah. over. So you see all the teams are starting to walk towards looks, each yep. other. They're shaking hands here, boys. Yep, and that'll be, uh, that'll be all she wrote. Yeah. Uh, take out the last, what we didn't see the last seven seconds before the unfortunate injury. We witnessed just a brilliant game of Ovens and Murray footy. That's why it's the best in the bush, mate. The whistle has just been blown from the umpires, and this game has been called, and the Myrtleford Alpine Saints have recorded a one-point win over the Wangaratta Rovers. 
There you go, the siren has officially sounded and this one is, is, is done and dusted. So a great win to the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, but more importantly our thoughts are obviously with Will McCarthy, who is currently off the ground and an ambulance has been called for him. They've got a duty of care to make sure that he is okay and this game has officially been called. A one point win, 15-6-96, the Saints, the Rovers 14-11-95 and take away what's happened in the last 27 minutes, the stoppage here Robbie. Yeah. Game of the year for mine, an unbelievable game of football. Yeah, trying to um, just get it all back in here, we had seven goals in that last quarter. The third quarter we had 12, seven goals to Myrtleford, five to Wang Rovers. It was a one-point lead at three-quarter time, and that's where it's ended up. Uh, Myrtleford kicked three goals, one. Both sides kicked three goals, one, in that uh, final turn. No, Dad didn't find it. And, yeah, it's which has gone 50, went 54 minutes. They blew the siren, and all the Wangaratta Rovers players are now just going over. They're heading right over there towards young Will McCarthy. And, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, such a great win by Myrtleford. And let's face it, they were probably going to win it. Take the last seven. A mirac they so needed a mark. They, needed, they just needed a mark, didn't yeah. they, to, yeah. to, to, to line up and potentially kick a goal. So yeah. they needed everything to go their way. I mean, it wasn't yeah. out of the question, but yeah. they needed, you're right, a miracle uh, finish. Now, I guess Scott Montgomery's got a big decision to make here. I guess who is our anytime fitness? Oh, sorry, our, our Waters oh. player of the day? It's hard to go back and think, but, I mean, Riley Sharp kicked four goals for the yeah, Myrtleford Alpine yeah. Saints, so he's got to be in contention. He got him back, he got him back I, into it, Riley Sharp. I think Capillari was great in the yep. first quarter and great in the last. Uh, Mitch Del Bosco. Was was 20 good. Mitch Del Bosco. Sam really Martin, Sam Martin, Martin was good. Ashton was good. McPherson was yeah, really he good. Was, he was outstanding. Yep. Young Ashton McPherson. Um, very even all-round performance. Um, Simon Curtis' second half was terrific. Sam Hilton Joyce, whenever he gets a foot, he done something good. I don't know, Riley Sharp was great, I thought. Brody Riccardi was good. Yep. Mont will do it. He, he's, a, he's a wizard. He's out and about now. Hopefully we can get this audio as well. We have had a few technical issues with our wireless microphone today, and, and hopefully he can get a little bit of a post-match interview here for our Waters Player of the Day on r &M Live. Repeating, if you're just joining us, the Saints 96, the Rovers 95. It was a one-point win to the Myrtleford Alpine Saints over the Rovers. The game has officially been called off. The siren has sounded. There wasn't an ending because the game has been stopped due to an injury to young Will McCarthy. So, uh, interesting circumstances. Hopefully all the best for young Will as the Rovers boys are now walking off the ground towards our broadcast box. So Craig Miller gets on board. Yeah. As he's with his first win in the SSNA Ovens and Murray. And they were really impressive today, the Middleford Alpine Saints. At no stage did they play defensive football, yeah, Robbie. Yeah. They wheeled, they went through the middle of the ground, they tried to open up the corridor, and I tell you what, they're gonna be they got behind on that scoreboard. They just kept they kept going and um, they as it played that same game. We just look at their. Um, I'm looking back at that game there. They um, they kicked oh, three of the last four goals in that game against Aubrey. You know, didn't stop their, their style of football. We're going to go down to Scott Montgomery on the boundary for Waters, who has Brody Riccardi with him. Is he our player of the day, Monty, or uh, we're just going to have a chat with him? No, absolutely. I think Brody Riccardi is our Waters player of the day, mate. Not the way you want a game to finish. Obviously, we have thoughts with Phil McCartney, but you've got to, you've got to, the way you were able to get back and win that game is a uh, testament to what your young team's been able to do. Yeah, thanks, Scotty. Yeah, I was just saying Estonia. It's obviously um, not ideal. It um, doesn't sit very well for us. And I we were just saying that it was such a high, intense game, um, really skillful, lots of ebbs and flows. And, um, you know, to be up on the scoreboard now was awesome. But we don't know, know what would have happened in that last seven seconds. But... Um, you know, all our, our thoughts are with Will and the Rovers boys. Um, and, and, yeah, we'll support Rovers and we'll support young Joshy Maraca who was involved as well. Um, but on the flip side of that, you know, we, we've fought really hard against a really good side and, and we're really proud of the boys' efforts today. Yeah, absolutely. Your young core is really good. As you said, Joshy Maraca is fantastic. But then the older guys like Simon Curtis in that second half really stood up in the middle of the ground and you're able to probably get a bit of ascendancy and get the ball forward when you really needed to. 
Yeah, Stimo went into the middle, you know, his experience and what he's done on the footy field just gave us a little bit around the footy, which was awesome. We started to balance up on the outside as well. You know, Mitch Del Bosco was awesome in at the contest. Kyle Winter Irving and, and Riley Sharp fought really hard forward. And, and then, as you said, the you, young boys, you know, Riley Booker, Declan Bren was fantastic down forward. And Ashton McPherson's first half for a 16-year-old kid was, was outstanding oh. as well. Yeah, he was unbelievable, Ashton. We spoke about him a lot in the broadcast, don't worry. We didn't realise he was 16, so yeah. absolutely unbelievable. He did a great job, mate. Look, I'll let you go. Go and enjoy it. Really good. On the board for the first time in 2023 and get around funky tonight for his first win. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Thank you very much. There we go. Brody Riccardi, our Waters player of the day, as the ambulance has just arrived as well at the McNamara Reserve for young Will McCarthy, who was getting obviously some attention he was concussed, and we know that he is, um, unfortunately, uh, going to get taken to, to hospital for a assessment as the young kids run out of the McNamara Reserve here. A little bit of How cool junior Oz kick football, which is great to see, and all the Myrtleford players are lining up for a guard of honour, Robbie, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's great. They do promote that really well there, the Myrtleford senior group and their younger, go and their younger group, and they've just waited for them, which is uh, just fantastic. So you'd expect... Um, ambulance has arrived too. Yeah, the ambulance has arrived. So we're going to go to a break here on O&M Live. When we come back, we'll see if we can catch up with Craig Miller and some of the other Myrtleford Alpine Saints staff after recording a one-point win, 96-95, to 95, here on O&M Live. And remember, for Apco Wangaratta, our post-game show on O&M Live, you won't miss a thing. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Pain or injury can stop you from living life to the fullest. Aubrey Wodonga Private Hospital specialises in advanced orthopaedic services and offers a full range of care from diagnosis to surgery and rehabilitation. Get back to the life you love with our support. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. 0.0% alcohol. This changes everything. <laughs> Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. How many subscriptions do you have? One for entertainment? And one for news? And meditation? One for sport? And one for music? Whatever you're into, you can now manage select paid subscriptions in one place and save up to 10% with Optus Subhub. Discover what's trending and save by bundling them all together. Streamline your subscriptions with Optus Subhub. It starts with yes. GoTafe is hiring and we want you on our team. Flexibility, professional development, generous remuneration and a staff wellbeing program are just a few of the great benefits we offer. 
If you have a passion for your skill or qualification and you're looking for real work-life balance, then GoTafe is the place for you. GoTafe is leading. Inspiring. Hands-on. Flexible. Fabulous. We have dozens of trainer positions and corporate roles open right now. Get in touch today. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app.